Mickey Valentine says, any chance after four streams to know if the new Fallout London will be played here? I don't have any specific plans to play any kind of unofficial fan patch in general. This is because there are just so many fan patches that as soon as I play one fan patch from any individual game, I get a ton of messages asking me to play all the others. People were annoyed that I didn't play the Morrowind expansion for the rest of Turn of Tamriel Rebuilt and people were annoyed that I didn't play all of the Oblivion expansions. So the problem is, if you try and cover every single bit of content that has been created for a game, you will be on that game for the rest of your life. So what I would instead do is play the majority of a game, mostly the base game and any expansions it comes with, and then move on to another game. That's the plan. Is Fallout London not an unofficial fan patch? Like, is it officially sponsored by Bethesda? Did did they make it? So it's a conversion of Fallout 4, which I haven't played at all. So before I play any kind of conversion patches, maybe I should play the actual game that it's based on first. I've actually never played Mass Effect either, so that's like on the list to play eventually. It's there. Oh, beast to beast, man. Good to see you. How you doing? I mean, I've been to London, so I'm sure the Fallout patch is just its basically the same. Why is it earlier this Sunday? It's not earlier. Saturday's at 7, Sunday's at 4. It's 4 o'clock in the next 5 minutes. Because that's how English time works. Am I going to keep calling mods patches? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm going to keep calling them downloadable patches. Next up, Josh hasn't played Dragon Age. I've played the first Dragon Age. I played Dragon Age Origins. Yes, the English invented time. All time is based on our time zone exactly. The stream hasn't started. It hasn't. What about Scotland and Wales? Do they have Scottish and Welsh time? They do, actually. Conveniently, it's exactly the same as English time. It's just not as good. You know what? Because you've all been such good viewers, good little boys and girls, I will start the stream now. Good evening to all of you. Welcome. How's everyone doing today? Hopefully we're all well. You want to see some crazy shenanigans? I've switched around my microphone. It's on the other side. Shock horror. I know it only really affects me and nobody cares, but for me, it's a big change. It's a big, big thing, because now I used to kind of enter the desk area from this side and I would bump into the microphone, but now I don't. So I would like you all to appreciate that I've done that. That's for me. That was a change for me. I did that for me. And I think it's a good way of doing it. What is this, a mirror? No, no, it's here. No cowboy hat. The cowboy hat's here. But if we start with the cowboy hat, we have nowhere to go. And I don't think you've earned that yet. If you weren't here yesterday, we have made our way through the majority of the Sierra Madre. We are now in the Sierra Madre Casino from the the patch. I'm going to keep calling expansion packs patches because it makes me laugh. Uh, from the patch, I believe it's Dead Money. So far, we've been very nice to the three people that have effectively helped us in the, the Dead Money patch. And now I need to get rid of these stupid, massively overpowered holograms. That should just, they're so powerful. Like, I swear to God, the, the holograms are so goddamn powerful. It's stupidly so. But I think... Ooh. Okay, so I've been detected, but I can hide this way. I think the holograms have a little kind of creator thing somewhere that I can get to. If I can get the little hologram creator, I'll be fine. Now, I don't know if I can just smash it or if I've kind of got to like use... I've got to interact with it in some way. But this guy just paces back and forward. I, I don't know if I can get close enough to where the thing is. But I'm hidden still. Okay, cool. Oh, no. He's extremely powerful. So we're just going to kind of hang back here for a bit till he turns around. And when he turns around, we run and we dip this way. Oh, no, now he's spotted me. Ah, there you are. Ha <laughs> ha! Sit down, nerd. You don't, 
You don't exist without your little, your little blue wall light. Yeah, wrecked you, son. We now need a downloadable patch for microphone static. Does the microphone sound okay? Is there static going on right now with this? The microphone should sound lovely. It should sound crisp. Crisp. There is some buzz. Why? Hang on. Because I dared to change it. Okay, how's that? Is that better? Is that a little bit better? Is that perfect? Know that it's fine. There isn't much... Oh, thank God. Thank goodness. Do you want to know how I fixed it? I moved the cloud lifter box from somewhere to somewhere else. It was the sock. Okay, look, let's address this. Some of you will be questioning, Josh, why is there a sock on the end of your microphone? Because there is. It's just here. See? It's a little... A little sock, just, just pull it in, just there, a little sock on the end of the microphone. This is because when I remove the microphone from the microphone holder and put it into a mug for when I make the videos, the sock effectively softens the connection between the microphone and the mug. Otherwise you have like metal on the ceramic, which is not the best thing for kind of reverb of sound within the mug. So this, if anything, is the mug sock. It is an inter- it's a load- Okay, right. So my, ooh, my brain thankfully processed that a lot quicker. I was about to say it's a load-bearing sock because that is a joke you make if you're in some kind of house and you see like a poster on the wall and you're like, don't move that, that's a load-bearing poster. You know, for the, the structural integrity of the house. But I am very aware that if I were to make that joke about a sock, there is... A secondary meaning of these words that may, in a way, be portrayed rudely. So, I did not make that joke. Because I was aware of how bad it would have been to make, I decided simply not to. See? Way quicker. It is not a load-bearing sock. It is a, a softening sock. That's not better. I'm gonna stop making jokes about the sock. The sock is no longer a a point of humor. Now what I do want to do is attempt, if I can, to find where the heck the other little stupid blue light thing is that create these things. You know, because they've always got, like, a little dumb blue light thing. And if you blow the blue light thing up, they cease to exist. I kind of want to know where that is. If I can get rid of that, I get rid of these. You can rush past them. Uh, I can, I'm sure. However, I am a tactical game player. So I'm going to jump and then just duck. Yeah. I mean, surely if... Hello, you. Sit down, son. Oh, that didn't help, but you can rush past them. They lie. Apparently, I can't. Apparently, that dude is just too good to be rushed past. But what if I were to go this way and jump? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, now I'd die. Good start. Good start, team. Good talk all round. Fantastic. My first time hearing Fallout music instead of the radio. So, we have to play. The I saved here, didn't I? We have to play the music and not the radio, because the radio is claimable as a DMCA thing. And we don't want that, because that would get us in trouble with Google, and therefore, the law. Sit down, you stupid little box blob thing. Now, where is the other one? I'm sure there is another one somewhere. Just rap over the DMCA claim. Normally, I would show you my incredible skills as a rapper, but I feel that would be, if anything, I feel that would intimidate too many of you too much. If you anger the dude, is he gone now? Permanently? Is he away? I think we've put him away. Can I jump over here and go this way? Yeah! Alright, okay, we're making some progress. 
We are making some progress. Oh, hang on. The cashier's terminal. Didn't I have a, a special combination for that? I'm sure I did. Eight Mile was loosely based on my upbringing. It's very true. It's... That was actually a rather factual film. Based almost entirely on my life. I... I would ask that you respect my privacy of not discussing it too much at this time. Because I've not seen the film. Audio is very low. Do you mean game audio or microphone audio? Game audio should be quite low. I'm never up to catch Josh, but I'm feeding my newborn, so I'm up in the middle of the night. Hi, Josh. Hello, Moist. Welcome to the stream. How is it being a, a parent? Congratulations on that, by the way. Well done. Any chance for Mass Effect after this? Okay, so there's, there's lots of games that I want to play after this. Mass Effect is one of them. Okay, so we can't get in there because we require a key. There's just so many keys to find in this whole thing, and... Oh, there's... They're all over the place. They really, truly are. Grab an automatic rifle. I think I can use that automatic rifle to fix the other automatic rifle. And... Oh, good! I've actually got bullets for this now. That makes a change. Good stuff. There's nothing else down here, and we can't even... hack in... to the floor safe. Oh, he's still there! He is still there. The dude is still there. Why not poll what chat wants to see next and then disregard it? I might do that, actually. Yeah, I might see what you guys want and then not do it. That seems like the kind of thing that I would do. So, a quick question. How do I get out of here now? Because I've... I jumped into here using... Please don't say I'm stuck. I can't go this way because this cashier's office door requires a key. Okay. We come down here. We are in this room here. We cannot leave this room here because I can't jump out of here. Unless I can jump... Ah! <laughs> I'm so good at this game. See? We just jump up and over and then we run away from the angry man with the laser. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. And he can't come in here because he doesn't know how to activate a door. You woke it up good. Emitter frequencies lighting up everywhere. Okay, new quest. Curtain call. You thought... You thought that I softlocked myself there. There were a few of you thinking, Oh, how's... How's our Damn boy gonna get out of this one? Very simply. Dead echoes in the frequencies. Casino security is shutting down. Opening up its vendor and gambling programs in the back casino. <laughs> Still might be something for sale, or... Maybe something can help you now security shut down. After you're done looking around, head to the lobby and we'll deal with your friends. Okay, we have turned on the power and we can now go back to the lobby and sort this out. That means I should be able to turn off the radio that was playing in the other bit, which means I can now go into the restaurant. Oh, it's all connected. It's all connected and with no more because I can't go into the restaurant because of that thing over there. Casinos woken up, paying attention to us. Oh, excellent. Good. Wondering what happened to your team? Looks like they got moved to other floors. Interesting. Maybe that's why... Oh, yeah, yeah. Perhaps the casino recognized specific guests or guests with a voice or look close enough for them to be assigned to that floor. We'll see had hoped with the power restored the systems would fully awaken especially the sound archives but no your teammates callers on each floor are interfering with the systems it's the white noise filters embedded in their construction they're blocking the casino speakers the music you'll need to recalibrate or destroy each caller to do that you need to get close reset the signal I'll blow their heads off. I'll leave the choice up to you. My preference? End them now. They're of no use. After all, it's safe to kill them now, provided you make it quick. You see, the collars don't work inside the Sierra Madre. Well, between floors. Else, I'd set off the collars. Be done with it. So find them, deal with them, as long as you're fast and can get off the floor after killing them. 
the floors. Whatever they line this place with interferes with the collar frequency. So if you kill them, you should have some time to run. Oh, just not sure how long may not be consistent. More or less, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. What we need is in the basement. We need to go to the top first and write our fortunes down. After we deal with your team on the other floors. I don't want to kill the guys that have helped me. That was a long... I'm going to let the game play out the audio whenever it has narrative to play out, because I want you guys to be, you know, up to date with this. I don't want to kill the guys that have helped me. They seem cool. I, I have no reason to kill them. Killing someone is a means to an end, and right now there are means, there are ways to get to that end without death. So we're going to focus on that and go with that. There were a couple of uh, messages, one of them saying they enjoyed the Morrowind playthrough. Thank you very much. And uh, whenever anyone mentions my name in the same sentence as Total Biscuit, that's always uh, a great honour, because the guy was very, very pro-consumer. And I, I try to be. I know that I'm not perfect, but I'm so close, it does scare me. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. Uh, so, throw the questions, that's fine. Uh, the skeletons in the lobby and around the casino, do you think they got trapped inside with the bombs dropped? Potentially. Potentially. Humble, too. Yes. I mean, I wouldn't say that I am the humblest person, but I, I am better at being humble than anyone else. That is very true, w without a doubt. And if you're a new viewer to the stream, I am being incredibly facetious, and uh, I don't actually believe that of myself. So, we've got three teammates. Let's go to the theatre first, because I feel at home here. This is where I belong and where I should be. Pick up the coins as we go. Uh, oh, maybe some, some ammo. See what's going on over here, shall we? Maybe this is where Dean's... Oh, yeah! Dean Bishop. Still alive. Correct that. Or break him. Dean Domino, the king of swing. We like Dean Domino. We stand a little bit of Dean... He was a bit arrogant, don't get me wrong, but in general, I think he was a good guy. So, if I can... If I can hang out with Dean Domino... Uh, oh, hang on. There we go. Oh, hang on. Tampico's front desk terminal password. Maybe it's important. We'll use it later. If we can convince Dean Domino just to work with us and team up and be like, Yo, come on, dude. Whoa, collar's beeping very fast. Okay. I might need to turn the game sound up, because I did not hear that. <laughs> That's what happens, by the way, when you get too close to one of the radio frequencies. Um, you die. So, give me a second. That was a, a user issue. I did not have my own PC sound turned up enough. Is that Henry Cavill streaming Fallout New Vegas? No, it's not. But I appreciate that. that. still alive? Correct that. Like I've explained to many people, I'm what you get if you order Henry Cavill from Timo. We shoot the radio frequency, and now the collar doesn't explode. Well. I say that. Might be another speaker somewhere. Apparently there is. I can't see it. So, oh, it's there. Okay, so we can't go there. We can't go there. We can't go apparently anywhere else. Because those speakers will make our head explode. And that is the opposite of the situation that I am trying to be in. I would... I can't go anywhere in this goddamn room. Can't go in this door. Can we go this way? Can't that way, can't turn you off. Right, we're going to turn these speakers off. There's a red one just there. Red means they're shielded, so I cannot shoot them, which is very annoying. Yes, I am the Aldi Great Value. Take Vera's Paratatures. A key slides out of Vera's Paratatures. Interesting. Finally, a friendly face. Hey, partner! Up here. They're in a bit of a predicament here. Had to duck backstage, take a powder. The audience is a little murderous tonight. Dean, me old pal, me old chucker, me old mate. How are you doing, man? How how did you get up there? No idea. 
woke up here, thought I was dreaming for a second. Right back on the stage, the mic. Thought I was back at the Fronds. Well, except no audience used to pack theatres back then. So, stepped up on the stage, checked things out. Then suddenly, holograms walked out of the wings. They started raising their hands to their heads, all creepy-like. Not a good sign. I see. What, what, what holograms do you mean, mate? There's, what, are you, what are you talking about? No holograms around here at all. Look, those ghosts are going to come out of the wings behind you in a second. The security types, not the friendly, bald types. And if you got in here, the door's probably locked tight behind you. So don't back up or run for the exit. You're not going to make it. Trust me. As soon as you can, run to the door to the left. Use the key you got out of the music rag there and camp out. I trust him. As bad as things are, it's going to get a lot worse if either of us pops. So get backstage until we get a better plan. Dean, I trust you, mate. I 100% trust you. But I'm going to need a little more than that, Dean, to go on if we're going to break out of here. We've got to be compadres, you know? I need you to be my good time boy, my rotten soldier. You and me have got to be together on this one. Uh, right. Uh, let's see. When you get the door open, there'll be an exit door dead ahead. Don't take it. It's most likely filled with toxins from the vents, so hug the wall. Make as much space between you and the door, or it's cloud nine in a casket. Past that is my dressing room. Under the table, there's a footlocker. It's tucked back a bit, so you might miss it. Inside, a gun, some ammo. Not much help against the ghost. Still, if you're about to give up, call it quits. Throw it to me, so I can eat a bullet first. I like it. Good choice. Pretty good choice all round. So, yep, cool. That's That sounds good, man. Uh, I can't say any of these things because I'm not smart enough to know how to do any of them. Right, I'll have the door on the left. If I hang on, Dean. Whenever Dean's on screen, we have to match. Oh yeah. Now we're playing. Me and Dean, together for life. He can be Dean. I'll be Sam. It's fine. Dad's on a hunting trip, and he hasn't been back in a few days. All right, I have the door on the left. Good. Go. And don't get yourself killed. Do that and we're both done. Okay, so as soon as we can, go left. Door on the left, dude. I'm going. Requires a key. Can we... Okay, I've got the key. You said door on the left. Backstage door. Okay, that was maybe not the door it sent me to. Maybe it's this door over here. Is there a door this way? That's also not the door that we need. It said go left, didn't it? There's only one left. Let's go... Let's try the other left. That also did not work. Maybe it's left backstage. Dean, you've given me bad instructions, Dean. However, there's a suitcase, also empty. Dean, none of what you've said is good. Your left or my left, Dean? Dean, do I need to pick up the key that just fell out? I'm sure the key... I've got the key. Dean, there is one left. The collar is beeping way too fast now, Dean. We're about to die. Okay, cool. Now, Dean. The glasses are coming off now because I don't respect you anymore. Dean. We need to know whether we're going your left or my left. And I also need to know whether we're doing stage left or whether we're doing audience left. Because they are different lefts. Dean. They are different lefts. I, I found it. That way. Is it this way? Okay, that way won't let me in. Can't go that way. They're all pointing at me. Security are all like, hey, you. You, my man. Exit, stage, left. Bleft. There's a compass. Okay, maybe it's this way. 
We can't. No. Good. Good job, mate. Try again. Maybe we go this way. Maybe we go through this door. Opens door. Requires key. Retrieve. We died again. We're doing okay. Let's do Retrieve the emergency door key to the thingy. Did I not have the emergency door key? Like, in the thing. Check the oven. I swear to God. I will end you. Northwest. Northwest is that way. Okay. So if we go this way... Oh, so it's his left. Right. So we've gone... Your left, I'm sh don't take that because there's gas there. Do go this way. Hug. Still gonna We're doing good. We're okay. Don't worry about me. We're fine. We go this way. We jump over. We go left. We duck through this door. We close it. We shoot you. That gets rid of a couple of the holograms. Now we quick save. We're making progress, guys. We're making progress. It's in here. This is Dean's dressing room. There's a radio in here. We've turned the radio off and we're all good. Dean said that there was some kind of... Yeah, there we go. Ammunition box in his dressing room. Okay, we can't open Dean's safe unless we take... Vera's backstage key. Oh, then we can open... Vera has a backstage key which opens Dean's safe. Methinks maybe Vera and Dean were a little bit closer than they let on. Which wouldn't have been great. Not for Vera or Dean, in fact. That would have been a little bit... Ooh, combat scandalous in many ways. Although that is... That is show business, baby. It truly is. Hello. Oh, my collar stopped beeping over here. But that's toxic stuff. Shoot you. Where am I going now? Not appreciating all of this stuff, although that is very showbiz right there. Every Vera has a backstage access. If you're called Vera, I think you're just allowed to walk into theatres. I once worked with a man in theatre called Barry, and he was the most theatre man I'd ever met in my entire life. Like the first time I met him, he was wearing like a long blue coat with a bright red cravat tied round his neck, and he walked into the room and literally said, Darlings. And I just thought, that, that man is theatre. Like if you boiled theatre down and condensed it, all that would be left is Barry. He is, he was so theatre. He was a lovely guy, actually. He was a really good director as well. But, you know, Barry was the most theatre experience. Peak theatre man, without a doubt. You wouldn't think that Barry is a theatre name, but very much was. Very much was. Stimpak. I'm going to buy a couple of these. I can buy two of them. That is a good number of Stimpaks to buy. If I go this way quickly... Things are going to start beeping again. God, where is the stupid beeping? I am going to hear this beeping in my nightmares. We've got to just kind of run for it. Hey, oh. you're making real progress. Good. Uh, look, that's Vera's room. Right. So, careful Go. what you touch in there. Be respectful. Okay, where is the stupid thing that is me? Ambient audio control. Power off ambient audio system. Done. Oh, thank God. Now, this is Vera's room, is it? Let's see what we've got. Dean Domino's saw her yesterday. Interesting. Vera's master key and some bobby pins. Dean Domino's saw her yesterday, you say? What is this? Is it a song? Oh, it just plays a song. Okay. 
It's interesting, though, that Vera seems to have so much connection to Dean Domino when I'm 99% sure that Vera was pretty much the wife of the guy that owns the casino. And if your husband owns a casino, you probably don't want to be messing around with the talent because then your husband's going to have a bad time, you're going to have a bad time, the talent's going to have a very bad time. I'm wondering if maybe Dean Domino and Vera were a little bit closer than they were letting on. A pencil on the desk. You know, if this was our John Wick playthrough, that would be enough. That's all we'd need. Stage door requires a key. Backstage door requires a key. Unlock with Vera's mask. Have we turned the holograms off yet? Nope. No, they're still there. Did we miss, like, a hologram choice? Is there a, is there a hologram creator somewhere that I can shoot? Because these holograms are very annoying. Without a doubt. If there was a hologram little blue wall light somewhere that I can shoot, that would just be terrific. I don't think there is. You miss some law stuff, but if you read the law going forward, how could a hologram kill you? With ease, apparently. With absolute ease. Yeah, maybe Dean Domino didn't quite get the job on his performance. Maybe Vera liked him a little bit more than she should have done. But the hologram's that way. Can I go this way? Nope. What about this way? Ah, there we go. Now we have a door that I can unlock. Key used. And tail... Okay, let's just duck so they can't spot me because they've got the, like, the most powerful... Insanely powerful guns. I think I just picked up some books. I want to see if I can use these books, because some of them... Okay, lying congressional style is good. Speech increased. Don't think there were any other books that I picked up. Uh, no, we are good. Okay. Can't go that way. Ooh, a locked first aid box. Yeah, we've got a skill book. I'm a skilled boy. I know people think I'm not, but I know what I'm doing. So we've got to get backstage now, haven't we? Where is Dean taking me now, is the question. Maybe this way. Was there a skill book for melee? Was there? I don't think I saw one. I can... Isn't the skill book for melee like the... No. No, that was a... That was a temporary skill boost, not a full skill book. We don't want to use the temporary skill boosts yet. Maybe we do in the future, but for now, we'll stick with these ones. Guessing I've got to kind of just escape now. Can we... Okay, so we can't go that way. That's like Vera's super special magical door. Ooh, can we unlock whatever this is? Wall safe. Very easy. What build am I on? The perfect build. Don't pretend it's not perfect. Can we... I should be able to escape now. Oh, okay, right. We're very much trapped in this little place here. It's telling me, map-wise, to go that way. The Sierra Madre lobby. But I don't think I can get that way without going, like, through here and then there. I don't know where it wants me to go. Never played this DLC. It's... It's got its strengths. You cannot deny that. Oh, hang on. Holotape projector. Holotape projectors can play holotapes. Would you like to play Dean Domino's holotape of I Saw Her Yesterday? Yes, I would. Now, I'm pretty sure this is actually owned by Bethesda, so I'm not going to get in too much trouble for playing this. Oh, there he is. Mr. Domino. The Domino Man. Mr. D's. I'll take that. We're not going to get DMCA'd for this, don't you worry. This is totally okay. As long as I keep talking over it and the YouTube detection algorithm now, can't get me. With the ghoul. This has gone on long enough. Yeah, I'm aware that I said D's. 
Mr. D's, but I'm not going to follow it with the word, okay? I'm not going to do it. I am better than that. Now, you need me to, as you said, deal with the ghoul. I don't want to kill Dean. Dean seems cool. Dean seems like an alright guy. Can we go through this door now? Should be able to go through this main door. Oh. Dean, where be you? I go back to the lobby now. Okay. So. Mr. Domino, our friend, is somewhere around here. Maybe he's in here. Aha. Oh, those electric ghosts aren't the kind of audience I like at the best of times. At least the ones in the villa had manners. Don't even know how I ended up here. Guess the casino still recognizes guests, even after all this time, huh? <laughs> How's that for history? Dean. Yeah. Are you alright, man? Yeah, now. Talk about a captive audience. Or captive entertainer. Ah, whatever. Look, I'm more about the short goodbyes than long, thankful speeches. But I appreciate you bailing me out of a tight spot there, partner. I know you didn't do it out of the goodness of your heart. So, let me give you something a little more practical. A way we both come out ahead. I'm listening. I'm not an idiot. I know the reason I'm in here now is because of the old guy. And you. And you're wearing a collar, so I trust you a little more than the old guy. He's more controlling than I'd like. Thing is, here's where being my partner pays off. See, I know how to get into the casino vault. You do? What do you mean? There's a private elevator, Sinclair's elevator. It's up in the executive suites in Vera's room. Not a coincidence. Vera. She was my other partner before the bomb. Took some legwork. Some convincing made it happen. Dean and Vera were going to rob the casino. Sinclair was already puppy-eyed, so all I had to do was the introductions. She smiled, fluttered her eyes, Smart. showed a little leg, and he built this whole place for her. Made her the key to his vault, like a joke, because of her name. Her fake Hollywood name. Except Sinclair didn't know I'd been there first. I could twist her whatever direction I wanted. A couple of questions in the chat I want to answer before we get back to Dean. Uh, first of all, cheer. Thank you very much. Mental for the bits. I have a question. Never been to theatre productions. Do they record them at all like for local productions? Normally, no. Uh, normally the reason that theatre productions aren't recorded is because the rights to perform a theatre show are relatively expensive and normally you have to pay for every show that you put on unless you buy a long run of shows like a couple of months and recording them means paying slightly more to be able to distribute them and sell them and the law gets much more complicated so normally theatre is kept to just a live performance unless you're dealing with a much, much bigger, uh, far more expensive performance and production in general. I see. And Josh, can you recap the story from the last night's stream in the cowboy accent? Why, uh... Well, Monk and Ned, I think I can probably do that for you. I've realized my cowboy accent goes slightly into Elvis, but... I'm gonna work with it. We're gonna keep it going like this. You see, I walked into a Brotherhood of Steel bunker, knocked unconscious, dragged to some kind of horror show. A town outside filled with red rabbit gas, zombies, and I was tasked by an old man to break into the Sierra Madre Casino. Unfortunately, doing this required four people to work as a perfect team. I found three other people specifically. I found a super mutant who had a split personality called Dog and God. I found a mute scientist girl who'd unfortunately had her vocal cords torn out of her, and I found the one, the only Dean Domino. We all teamed up together, 
we had no choice, really. These explosive collars around our necks. Somebody had clearly been watching Battle Royale and decided that is a good idea. We flipped all the switches, threw the party, and opened up the casino. We ran inside. Unfortunately, the holographic guards may be intangible, but their weapons were very, very tangible. We turned them off by shooting all the weird blue lights on the wall, and now we are about to uncover the treasure of the Sierra Madre Casino. All I have to decide now is whether I will kill the people who helped me break in. Now, it would be easier, but this stream ain't about doing things the easy way. No, sir. So we're going to find a way to do it the hard way, the right way. And we're going to make sure that everybody, just once, lives. Thank you, Mr. Milkman. My dairy has improved. The Milkman does bring you the gift of dairy. That's exactly what we bring you. Uh, the rights thing is why pantomimes are still so popular. Public domain stories. Yes, absolutely. Public domain, that's one of the reasons that so many people do older shows. We can do this the easy way, or my way. Dean Domino, why don't you tell me a little bit more about you and Vera? I'm interested in this little history lesson you've got going on. All she had to do was get inside the Sierra Madre for the gala, then use her voice to open the door. After that, smooth sailing would have been the biggest heist in history. Sinclair left holding the bag. Ruined. So what happened? The bomb. Vera got sealed in here. A few hundred years go by, give or take. Almost the end of the story. Then you came along. Now we finish the job. Rob the Sierra Madre, rip out its heart. Last chapter of Frederick Sinclair. Close the book. What was your problem with Sinclair, Dean? Problem? All high and mighty. Lording it over everyone. Acting so self-righteous, like nothing could touch him. He was the one with the problem. Never got mad at anything, nothing seemed to shake him. Even after his life kept getting dragged through the dirt, always kept looking for the bright, shining future in everything. So, I decided to take everything from him. Dean, I'm going to be real and put this in the most polite way I possibly can. You saw a man beaten down by the tides of life. Beaten down, crushed, if you will, by the weight of the world, and yet he still kept a sunny disposition. He was still cheery. He was still seeing the best in people and everyone, and you decided, I can't be having that. We have to crush him like the world has crushed us. Dean, I need to say this and get this off my chest. That is the most fucked up thing I've heard somebody do. To look at somebody else being happy and dealing with the troubles of life and going, I'm not having that. That's not the way we're doing it. Dean! What did this man do to you? Do to me? What, weren't you listening? He thought he was better than me. Don't believe me? Look around. This big casino. This big colossal monument. Think it was for some woman? No. All ego. All self-righteous in lights fit him perfect. Had to take him down a few pegs, bring him down to my level. Begin again? Some things you don't get up from. I was going to prove it. Dean, he was a better man than you. And you couldn't have that. You see, some people create creation is difficult because others will mock you for it others will hate you others will tell you it can't be done and others others they'll destroy destruction that's pretty simple you just break things chaos throw it around no plan dean you strike me as a man who thinks highly of himself but then you bumped into someone who was legitimately in many ways better and you realized right there and then 
No matter what you did, you would never be able to raise yourself to the level he was. Much easier to bring him down to yours. How are you going to prove it, Dean? How are you going to prove that you're better than him now? I didn't know at first. Then the old man showed up. You showed up. Then that woman showed up, covered in scars. The one who makes all the hand signs, a little tight around the corners of her mouth. I put her in the clinic, tuned her like an instrument. If she heals up, it's not going to be her voice speaking anymore. That is, if the Sierra Madre didn't get her. If it did, well, there's enough of Vera around for me to spend a few years piecing a book together. You put an innocent woman in a broken auto dock with the plan of ripping out her vocal cords and replacing them with Vera's because you knew that Vera was the key to the safe. After all this time, somebody else, a good woman, had to suffer because of your greed and insecurity. What happens if she's still alive, Dean? Then she can make some beautiful music. I'm not banking on it. So here's the short of it. Piece together Little Miss Vera Key's song in the right order. Sierra Madre opens its legs when in business. All right, Dean. I'll head out. See what I can do on my end. Go! Knock yourself out. I'm just going to catch my breath a bit. That performance, well, more pressure than I was expecting. I'm going to be real with you guys. I didn't realize Dean was like that. Dean wanted to rob a man because he thought he was better than that man. He planned this for years. He put his partner, Vera, in harm's way. And now, after the whole thing has failed, he still can't just let it go and not be this person. He has to continue this. Dean is awful. Dean is bad. I feel like a fool for being taken in by Dean. But I think maybe... Maybe we should... God damn it, Dean! He's in the chat! Dean V25... Dean! Everyone in the chat, just take a moment to hate Dean. God damn it, Dean. That is such a Dean thing to do. That is a oh, classic Dean. I bet you're wearing the glasses and everything. Dean, me and him had a bond. I wore the glasses for you, dude. I wore the glasses. Oh, okay. So what's the quest telling me to do now in general? Retrieve the emergency door key to the canteen Madrid kitchen. What was the other one? There was the... Last luxury's done. And everything else is pretty much sorted. Do I want Dean... Hang on, let's just get rid of that first of all. Do I want Dean to live? That's the question. This terminal's broken. God damn it. Oh, of course it is. Why would... It? Oh, Sierra Madre helmet reinforced. Now, we are over encumbered, but that's fine because I have another one of those. Which means I can probably... Repair it with the other one. Why can't I repair that one? Okay. Why can I not repair that? Hang on. Yeah, repair that with that. Sweet. Now we're good. Excellent. Dean mutilated an innocent woman. He did. That's true. And you know what? He will, without a doubt, face punishment. Guaranteed. We will make him face punishment. Here, card. But not right now. Right now, we have other things to do. But worry not, Dean will face punishment. Maybe we should just let it go. Let it go. Can't hold us back anymore. 
Nope, we've already been in there. Unlocked with the entertainer pass key. And now we go back. So, Dean, pretty much sorted. Sorted, dealt with, and done. What card is that? I didn't check. I will check later. You've got one of the floors re-established. Good. Accessing the music archives now. Two more to go. Oh, it seems the casino has uninvited guests. The villa inhabitants were pounding at the doors. Now they found a way inside. Oh, God. Deal with them, and don't try and leave yourself, or I'll let the collar do its work. This is not great. That helps. Right, so, we have now got zombies inside. Not what I was planning on, not the ideal. But, we can solve this. Weapons. Let's go with uh, whatever I've got actual ammo for. Police pistol? Yeah, it's got ammo. Okay, so we're gonna get six shots of this revolver every time. Which means... We've got to make them count. Thankfully, I am extremely lucky. However, these guys do have a hell of a lot of thrown weapons. And I would rather not have to deal with them constantly. Let's just see if I can get... Not the most accurate, but I'll trust it. One more good shot, come on. There we go, taken down. Remember, you've got to pretty much destroy their limbs, otherwise they will just get back up. So, Dean Domino dealt with. Looks like we're off to the executive suites next. Have I tried aiming? Don't... Don't be coming into the stream and sassing me. That's not the energy I want from this. Find the mute and deal with her. She's somewhere on this floor. I don't want... buzzing with the emitter signatures. Watch out for holograms. If it's oh. who I think it is... This is Christine, recovered, in what looks like an old-world hotel room. My class. Two rooms. She's talking. Exit sealed. All doors are locked down. Security's activated. And emitter signals are lighting up all over this floor. I'll do what I can from here. Floor's got holographic security. Not latest tech. Field of view targeting systems. Primitive. Familiar. She's talking. I liked Christine. Christine and me got on. She was good. She was a good person. Christine. This door is hermetically sealed. Okay, I'm gonna... Christine, we can work together on this. We can help each other. We don't need to be enemies. God, there's more gas. No, I just wanna leave. Please. Let me leave. We all pay for what we've done. I'm so sorry, Sinclair. Sorry, I... I should have trusted you. You can hear someone talking, apologizing to Sinclair. Put my light on. Oh, what it already was. Why did you leave me here? Why? Sinclair! Sinclair! Let go. Oh god, no! Let go of what? Okay, so, so to Oh god, there's holograms and they all have mind bullets. No, That's telekinesis, leave. Kyle. Please. The problem is that. Oh god, she's gonna be so bloody hard to kill. I've gotta find those stupid so blue sorry, things now. She sorry, is in I, the walls. I should have trusted you. Let go. Let go of what? Sinclair? Sinclair, where did you go? Why did you leave me here? Why? Sinclair! Sinclair! Oh, I'm gonna have to find a bloody blue thing now. To get they past her, it. this is irritating. Use your British you manners on her. Screaming to be let out, work. to let go. Sinclair. <laughs> gotcha. So it turns out Sinclair and her didn't exactly get on very well, especially not after the whole "I'm going to team up with Dean Domino and rob the place." I don't need that hat. Have a quick nap in the bed. I mean, yeah, what can go wrong? Perfect. Quick nap. Quick one-hour nappy nap in the middle of this uh, very 
intense, exciting heist. Doors locked. Christine. Christine, I'm glad you've got your vocal cords back. We can be friends. You've done nothing wrong. I'm going to help you get out of here. God, beeping. Okay. So, beeping means there is a radio somewhere. I'm guessing it's behind that thing over here. But it stops beeping over here. God damn, I hate this beeping. I'm going to hear this in my nightmares. Don't think I want to be over here anyway. This doesn't seem like the right way. I hope there's a was it good of this game on the way. There will be eventually. Okay. Is it that way? Somewhere. Don't think it's this way. I also don't think this way is the right way at all. What about this way? Ah, this is the other side. Excellent. The other side of the cave-in. I am constantly on the lookout for radios. Okay, we've stopped you. What else we got? Why did you leave me here? Christine. Sinclair? Where are you? What's on this? Oh, hang on. A book. Fixing things. Can you shoot the radios? You can, but it doesn't do anything. I have forgotten about the beeping. God, it's annoying. You guys ready for Hacker Man? I'm ready for Hacker Man. Here we go. Time to hack. Using the hacking technique that I have been taught. Look for open brackets. And then... When you find open brackets that have the same bracket, the close bracket, and you click it, it removes a wrong option from the choices. Now, it's also pretty easy to find the open brackets, because if you just cursor over all of them, eventually it shows you the whole selection. I'm actually... I'm playing the game. I'm learning. I'm beginning to believe. I am beginning to believe. So just find the open brackets, click the open brackets, remove the duds, and eventually you will be left with only the correct options. Well, like four correct options. You don't normally get rid of all of them, but you get rid of a good deal. Very good deal. So outside, that was two out of seven correct. Survive. That was also wrong. Um, okay, so outside and survive both only had two things that were correct. So U for the second letter and either I or E. Okay, that's weird. So outside and survive. The only things that are similar are the U, the I, and the E. So it won't be milling. It could be... it got to have an I and an E at the end. It could have machine. I am so good at this game. Oh, hacker man here. You guys don't know how good I am at this. Not many people know this, but as an actor, when Josh needed money, he took a small cameo in the show Peaky Blinders. This is not true, but I'm going to keep going. As Thomas Shelby's 1911. It's hard to notice, but if you pay close attention, every time Tommy fires his gun, the gun sound effect, bang, is actually just a list of all of my YouTube videos up to that point compressed into a fraction of a second and being played. Very true. What I, I'm amazed that you know that. Genuinely amazed that you know that. I don't think anyone would ever work it out, but it is true. Thank you. Hi, handsome. How's your day going? Uh, everyone in the chat. Uh, Saul is talking to you. 
So, you can tell them how your day is going. If you're in the chat right now and you're handsome, and you are, all of you, you can reply to Sol. He's having a conversation with every single one of you, which is beautiful. What a lovely chap. Right, disable the hallway loudspeakers. Done. How about download the Starlet Hologram Code Snippet? Okay, and download Superheated Knife. Sounds good. One cosmic piece of shit knife, one pilot light, one hot plate. Something to hold the damn thing to cook evenly. Cool. Give it to the military? Nice. We've got a super heated knife. It's all fantastic. Just in case we want to make a hot knife. What a lovely thing we could do. Emergency terminal network. How about we override the emergency door seal? Done. Nothing bad will come of what we've done. Okay, that requires a key. Is it in the... Aha! Maintenance key. Beautiful stuff. That is the sealed door. They're keeping me here. Where are you, Christine? Christine, I'm coming to help you. I'm still being recorded by the Whoa. hologram system. Oh god, there's so many of them. Ooh. I can hear the other guests screaming to be let out, to let go. Yep. Angry Sinclair, woman. Why did you go? Is it this way? Why did you leave me here? Why? Oh. Sinclair. Sinclair, I'm trapped. Please. Oh God, the security okay, so won't there let me is out. gas They're keeping here. Me here. There is gas over there. Do not fire. There's also a radio just there. Oh, you can actually blow it up. Fantastic. That's really clever. Okay. All of the gas is a little bit disconcerting. Oh, a super stim pack. That's great. This door is hermetically sealed. Yep, that's fine. Take some mac and cheese. Why not? Nothing goes wrong with that. I'm I'm wondering if we probably want to throw some fire into this room. Because there's a lot of gas kind of bobbling around here. Oh, hang on. Activate gas valve. Yeah, let's repair the valve. I am great. And it's repaired. And the door opens... That's a nice little puzzle right there. Is it in the oven? Why? You know what? We're going to check the oven. If I find one good thing, I'll hate it. Nothing. I'll take the pork and beans, but it's not good. That one's empty. That one's empty. The pork and beans actually put me over the limit. So I've got to eat it now. Aid. Mac and cheese. Pork and beans. That little sneaky snack. Now, carry on. What's in here? Wait, we've been here before. Why? I thought that was like a missile launcher or something. Bobby pins are always useful. So where do you want me to go now that I've opened this place? Maybe it's back to the original place, which was this way. We all pay for what we've done. Right, get ready to run past these guards. Sorry, I. Oh, hello. Hello, bright red evil room. I've studied theatre. Red means evil. Or sexy. Or, if you're feeling particularly clever, evil and sexy. Activate Vera's computer terminal. Unlock security door. Done. Look, dude, I'm getting to you. Chill. Just let me... Let me make my way over to you. Anything on this, uh... The Big Book of Science! Love the Big Book of Science. I'm gonna read the Big Book of Science. You are colorblind. It's a sexy, scary room. Believe me on that one. Big Book of Science. My science increased by four. That book contained four science. You made it. Good. There's to talk. I'll keep this quick in case my voice goes out. Just glad you're safe, Christine. You hold up here. I'll take care of Elijah. Good luck. He's not an easy opponent. If I can, I'll help. Might be able to figure something out using the Sierra Madre's computer systems. 
Good luck, Christine. Glad you got your voice back. Auto dock helped. I'm guessing. What's in Vera's dresser? Vera's audition. Interesting. What's in here? Oh, nice. Some stem packs and a card. Feels like the cloud Take Vera's dress. Died. Feels. Nedex. There's another Nedex. There's a lot of stuff going on around here. What's on the skeleton? Nothing specifically. Absinthe. Do we... Do we need to put on Vera's dress? Is that a thing? Method, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome to the stream, everyone. If you've not joined us before, I'm Josh. This is Fallout New Vegas. Now you're fully caught up. That's all you need to know. We are playing with... Yes, everyone is saying yes, you have to wear it. Hang on. Barter, speech, and charisma all increase. Oh. Okay, so if you wear it as a male character, you get some kind of suit. Vera's outfit. I really thought you'd get some kind of sexy dress. Because... I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm going to keep it. But I really thought that would have been a dress. I'm actually a little bit disappointed. What the hell? Why is that? I mean, it's... It's hot, don't get me wrong. It is exactly what the milkman would want to wear. But... Do I have, like, a hat? Need a... Need a hat. I'll get a hat at some point. So which of these are the heaviest things? I probably don't need the Sierra Madre armor. It's really heavy. I'm not gonna wear it. Go on the floor. Don't need you. Who needs armor? Cowards. Cowards need armor. And I? Maybe many things. But a coward? I am not. What's in here? Ooh. Vera's... More of Vera's outfit. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to use it to fix to the first the one. Vault is locked. Find a way to open it. Right. So, that... Take the elevator to the vault. Welcome, Miss Keys. Please, speak for the voice recognition access. Right, so I need something to play so it's recognized Vera's voice. It would be convenient if I had her audition tape, wouldn't it? Would you stop? <laughs> Such a kidder. This is Vera Keys auditioning for Love Set Sail. God, this script. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy to have the... Is that a plane overhead? Those bombers are nothing but big hornets buzzing around the sky these days. Is it gone? Alright. This is Vera Keys auditioning for Love Set Sail. Malcolm, ever since our freighter went down, I feel like my heart's fallen to the bottom of the ocean along with my... Ugh. Along with my career. God. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, I mean, I... It doesn't want to let me play that for that. Maybe I need to find out what the password is and get her saying that. That seems like a thing that I would need. You're back. You sure you still want me here, callers and all? Not much for waiting around with a bomb around my neck. Okay. Just wait a little longer. Fine. I hear my collar beeping, though. I've got the route to the exit all mapped out. So, what I now need to do is take Vera's voice and work out what the exact password is. Unfortunately, a mile of cigarettes. I think I've still got dog to deal with, haven't I? In fact, can you open it? You're back. You sure you got some questions? All right. I'm just glad I can answer you now. I see. You sound like the woman in the Sierra Madre broadcast. Do I? Sounds off to my ears. Hard to tell. Not to mention it. It hurts like hell to swallow. Might be why I got moved off to this suite. It's hers. 
That's her over there. Got trapped by security like I did. Just took a different way out. Well, now that your voice is back, anything you want to say to me, Christine? I've been hunting the one who hijacked your pit boy, Elijah, for some time. He cannot leave the Sierra Madre alive. What he's done? What he's done here is nothing compared to what he's done in the past. The only way to bring him out is if you get to the vault. He won't allow you to go down there alone. That's when we kill him. Okay, interesting. Just going to uh, hop over into the old Twitch chat and ban someone who's evading a ban. Very impressive, but also no. Cool, there we go. That's all sorted and done for you. So, uh, how did you get here from the gala event? Uh, could have said something sooner. Does the auto dock work? Look, Christine, let me deal with Elijah. You hang here. Just get better. Wasn't sure until now I could trust you. Now I know. Look, when I woke up here, however that happened, I had this key on me. I think it belongs to her. Haven't had a chance to use it yet. Might open the dresser or the safe. Didn't have time to experiment with it before you arrived. Here you go. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. You could have said that sooner. Wasn't sure until now I could trust you. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, does the auto dock work? Yeah, still functional. A lot of garbage data on it. Its basic procedures should still work fine. Anything you can get off it? I can see. Check the route. Recent diagnostics. A lot of medex was dispensed for... Vera Keys. Guess that's her corpse there for certain. And why all those meds are scattered around in here. Here's the medical report. Looks like she had some sort of terminal condition. Diagnosis isn't conclusive. Must have been painful. I'm not even sure she knew if these medical reports are enough. She must have been numb most of the time. This, unfortunately, is doing that thing where voice actors slowly, as they record more and more lines, just drift further and further away from the mic and their voice drops down a bit more and they keep doing this. But it was really great at the start of it, but then they just drift further and further away and you can't hear what they're saying. Just, it's very quiet in the game and it was fine when we started talking to them. Enunciate, pronounce, louder. Whoever balanced this didn't balance it perfectly. Her performance is fine. It just needs to be louder. All right. I'm just glad I can answer you now. Yeah, cool. Can I... I need to leave. How do I leave this conversation? I, the, I need to go. The, gotta, Thank you for all the stuff, but goodbye. Okay, so, Christine, look, are you here to kill the guy who kidnapped us? Those are my orders. I've seen what he's done, and I believe in those orders. That sounds pretty personal, Christine. He cut me off from someone I cared about a long time ago. He used his status to break us apart, so I had to find a new purpose. Same banner. Then he became unstable, left a trail of crimes across the wasteland. Once word reached us, I was ordered to kill him. Well, he said he knew you personally, Christine. You need to, you know, be louder. He saw me before the scars at a place far from here. It's where he found some of the technology he uses now. It's a place called the Big Empty. The name's deceptive, if you know where to look. Almost got trapped there. There was someone else, though, who came along, knew about Elijah. Josh, no time to explain. Start collecting toasters. I'll do it. Straight away. Immediately. Viola is close to Vera. Uh, how did uh, he know Elijah? No idea. A courier. Wore an old world flag on his back. He was the one who pulled me out there. Told me where Elijah had gone. Helped me heal up. Listen to my story. He... Sympathized. Sympathized? Why? Christine... I really want to end this conversation with you and just go and get the other stuff done, but I've got to keep talking to you. He said he understood what it meant to track someone who had such a impact on his past life. He said people were like couriers, sometimes never understanding the messages they brought. That's who he was hunting for. Some courier. Some courier? You could have said something sooner. Wasn't sure until... Okay, cool. Wasn't sure until... Also, how... 
quiet as this. When I say could have said something sooner, just listen. This is the actual sound of the voice uh, in the game. Wasn't sure until now I could trust you. Now I know. That is bad. Yeah, still function. Okay, look. Hold up here. I'll take care of Elijah. Good luck. He oh my goodness, that was one of the worst paced conversations of the entire DLC. It was a known issue at the time, it rewrites at a worse studio. Yeah, that was not a great written section. There were issues there. Okay, straight forward. So, right. Okay, cool. Just memorizing the route to get to where I need to get to. Not that way. I didn't say I was good at memorizing it, I just said I can try and memorize it. And then... Oh! I'm being poisoned by a toxic cloud. What's in here? Hello, metal helmet reinforced. Okay, so not that way. Metal helmet reinforced, is that a good helmet? No. No, it is not at all. The, the Sierra Madre helmet is way better, but it is lighter. So that's nice. Okay, data. I was going to go this way and then left from there, then around that way. But I... Am I on the right place of the map? It seems that there is a... The map doesn't seem perfect for this specific room. Oh, hang on. Two magazines. Good. I'll take those. Back through the red poison. Let's go this way instead. Go to the kitchen with the gas. Gotcha. Can do. The pit boy is showing the map of the Sierra Madre as it was, not as it is. That's quite clever. I could get on board with that. Back through the kitchen. This way and that way. We should be able to go this way and this way. Sweet. Another fragment. Good. Almost have the entirety of what I need from the music archives. Once you have the last fragment, you can thread the archives together at the main floor terminal. Okay, cool. Nice and loud. Let's just take down this guy's head. It's a critical strike, but I'm going to move back with... Hopefully I can take out this guy. Oh, no, there's a couple of you. Oh, there's lots of you. My goodness. How lucky are we? So many people. Let's just reload. And then... Ooh. Beautiful stuff. Here we go. Now, you say run away, but... No, we're not cowards. We don't do that here. This is how we play. Yeah. People want to restart. So Elijah said something about something, and then something happened. That's pretty much... You're caught up now. All I need to do is cripple this guy's head, and then when his head dies, we're good to go. Now that dude is punching. Which is fine, because my favourite weapon from this entire thing is the bare fist. Yes. Law in the punch. Punch back. And when he's unconscious, remember, they will get back up. Unless... You actually crush their head. Good afternoon, Wall. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. One more person to go. And that, unfortunately, is Dog and God. Now, we haven't killed anyone yet. I think Dean does deserve to die. Like, of all the people that we've worked with so far, Dean is the one that probably seems like the worst. And I think... I don't think I would cry too much if Dean died. Let's just grab a little magnum round there. What's going on in here? Anything? Nope. 
Yeah, just a good old-fashioned toilet. Uh, question as well. Do we go with the shades? Or do we go with a hat? I'm thinking shades. I think shades are pretty cool. We kind of go with the shades for a bit. Some people are saying the hat. The shades, the hat, both. Oh, yeah. We can wear both. Fantastic. Didn't even realize we could. Excellent. Good stuff all around. Right. Sierra Madre Casino requires a key. Can't go that way. Where? Where are you sending me to, game? Where do you need me to go? You need me to go that way. But is that... It might be down somewhere? This was full down. Sending me through the restaurant, are you? Ah! This'll be where Dog and God are. I'm gonna need a good weapon for this. Because I do not want to kill him. But I am fully aware that I might need to. Going to make Casino burn. No more being. Going to make Casino burn. No more being. Hurry up and deal with the FEV reject. He's of no use to us. I don't want to kill him. He's a good man. He's got difficulties. But he's a good man. Deep down. And I want to do what I can to help this guy. However, I am fully aware we might need to kill him. I don't want to. But I am prepared for this. Dog was a kind soul. God was a kind soul. Dog was... Listen to me. If you do this, we both die. Dog wants to die. Don't carry Tired I need to find where these things are coming from. Place. And I don't want to waste holographic shots. Master, and destroying radios. Us. Please let me help us. If, if you don't, then you're... Going to make casino burn. No more being... Must be a back entrance back to the, the cage. cage. Check the main casino Stop side corridors. Find can, it. Can hear you now. Not much longer. Okay, so... Not listening to me. Tired of being your minder. Tired of putting dogs... Dog and God are arguing with each other, which is really cool. Hungry. I like this. Dog wants this is a great little set. You. Always wanted to protect you. The reason I have to take control is... Master. Master set me free. Dog needs to. Where am I going to find if you do this, this alternate route in? Dog wants and where the hell is the radio? Tired of you. Tired it is currently. You are. Help us. Please let me help us. If you don't, then you're going to make casino burn. No more being. Back in the cage. Stop what you're doing. We can, can hear you to now. find a way Not much to longer. get to dog slash Not god. Listening to me. But I don't know if I can get in that. Way. That door's inaccessible. Where? Dog to sleep. He wakes up in cage. Where am I going? Dog wants Is there a route Always through the to bathroom you. to somewhere? The reason I have to take Sierra Madre Martini. I'll take it. I'm wondering... I don't know why I'd be able to get into the bathrooms. Unless there was a specific reason to be in the bathrooms. So I'm kind of wondering what they're offering. Unless I'm meant to be here. Yes, I know that you can go in there to pee. But I'm thinking if there's got to be another reason to be in here. Please let me help us. If you don't, then you're going to make casino burn. No more being. Do you want me to go, game? Stop what you're doing. We can can hear you now. Nope, it's a puzzle now to get out. Not listening to me. Tired of being your mind. I can't seem to find a two-way intercom. It will only allow one-way communication from another intercom. Can't get through the door without dog and god doing something else. It's got to be over here, then. 
got to be over or around here. What can we find? If any. Oh, hang on. Key. Ignore me. We found a key. The key is to... Apparently back this way. Back in the lobby. Okay. I found it. Guys, when you watch me play a game, what you're watching is a master of games. Just dominate games. That's what you get when you come here. Okay? I'm not I'm not a beginner, I'm not a noob. You know that you get high quality gameplay. Second to none. Perfect. Every time. Never springs traps. Knows exactly what I'm doing. Just let me work out the map. Okay. The, the Cantina Madrid this way. Someday I will challenge the King of Games. I will send him to the Shadow Realm. Interesting. If you override the door's lock, you won't be able to open it from the inside until you've shut off the gas valve and dealt with Dog. Use emergency maintenance key to open the kitchen. That idiot's opened the gas valves. A single spark, or he sets off his collar. The casino's going to burn. Us, along with him. Shut off the gas valves or that idiot will kill us all. Right. He's turned on some gas valves, has he? Alright. Let's turn them off, then. He's over there. Prepare the valve. Prepare successful. Good job. Dog has died. I see. Shut off the gas valves or that idiot will kill us all. So I'm guessing we, can, can we need to talk to him. Hey, bro, where are you, man? Let's repair that one. You. Always oh, good. wanted to protect you. The... You? Master? No, not master. Dog remembers you. Left dog in cage. Mean to dog. Now, dog. <sighs> You'll kill us both unless you do something. Never felt him so strong before. He won't listen to my voice. He's... He's... Hungry. Come here, or Dog will chase you, break you, until you no run anymore. Dog, stay. If you don't, Master will be mad. Hmm? Master? Don't want Master to be mad. What does Master want Dog to... <laughs> listen to you. Can't hold him back much longer. Tell him to pull on his chain as hard as... Dog can. What Master wants, Dog can do. Please don't be mad with Dog. Dog, the Master sent me. He commands you to listen to my voice now. Master? Master? Dog? Dog is listening. <sighs> Both of us are. Tell him to listen to me. Then we can get out of this. Finally. And... Now Dog is listening to voice. Your voice only. Oh, so close to being able to have a, a full speech check there. Okay, interesting. What do we want to do? Grab the chain around your neck, grab the ends, and pull slowly and hard until you hear a crack. Are we asking Dog to break his own neck? Dog, listen to the other voice inside you. Go to sleep and let him come out. If... if other voice comes out, Dog... Dog won't wake up. Dog doesn't want to sleep. Please don't make him. <sighs> Go to sleep. Good. Yes. Make him sleep. Please. Don't make me go to sleep. I... Dog is tired. Dog is tired. Can't... 
Keep eyes open. Sleep. Dog needs to sleep. If we put the dog personality down, he will never appear again. So maybe... Maybe we reload and read a book. You cannot quick load while the game is paused. That's fine. Sleep, reject. Sleep like the dead. Load. Quick save. Let's read the book. And let's talk to Doc. Now, one thing that I do dislike about this specific DLC is in the main game, you can always end a conversation and then have it again. So when you realize that you won't reach the speech check or the level check, you can end the conversation, then you can read a book or use a boost, and then you can have it again. Because otherwise, you don't know what you need to boost before you have the conversation. Like, if you have the conversation with someone and halfway through they're like, oh, you need an explosives check. How do you know that you should have used an explosive temporary boost before you have the conversation. It's a system that basically only allows itself to be useful after you've already had the conversation and reloaded. If you have temporary boosts on you, it would be nice if you're able to say in the middle of the conversation, hey, you have this boost on you, would you like to use it? Now, EA, you can say bad take as much as you want, but just consider this. If I have a load of temporary boost items on me, and I start a conversation with someone, and then it turns out that I've got a load of possible options in an RPG that I could use, I could access by having certain skills, but when the conversation finishes, I then just never get those access, you know, ac access to those again. What you're saying is, before I have a conversation, I should use every temporary boost item I have just to guarantee that that conversation might go the way that I could, in theory, want it to go. This is your build issue, is it? It's my build issue that I've got a load of temporary boost items on me that I don't know when to use because the times that they are needed, you can't, you know, go back and use them. It is a life sim. Yes, that is very true. But in that case, you're saying that Unless a player knows when a check for something is coming up, they are at risk of using a temporary boost item every single time. In Baldur's Gate 3, you can use your boosts mid-convo. Sounds like a good idea. In that case, let's use a item. Aid. Because look at what we've just done. We've literally... What that means is you're putting the player in a... I know it's a life sim, but... Consider it from a game design point of view. You are putting the player in an issue. Other builds simply get the skills to hit the skill checks. Okay. Dog, consider this. I know that I have temporary boosts in my inventory that should give me a boost to speech. There we go. I've got Meeting People, the magazine. Had I have used that magazine before talking to Dog, I, with my build, would have been able to use a temporary boost to achieve that which is literally the point of having temporary boosts in the game. But you're now putting this into the, you know, putting the player into the position of the player starts a conversation, realizes that they don't have the level static to achieve the result they want, but they do have an item that would help them achieve it. But the only way to know to use that item is to know that you needed to have used the item before you started the conversation. So the player now is incentivized to reload the game use the temporary boost and do it again, which is functionally no different than being able to use the boost mid-conversation. It's just practically different that you need to do it again. You could just say, or you can accept the consequences of not being able to do it. That's absolutely fine. But in that case, why are there temporary boosts in the game that you can only use before you start a conversation? You're saying to me, I must accept the consequences of not having the skills to do something. That means that I now need to think before starting any conversation, might I need this skill check in this conversation? If so, I should boost to it. But you don't know what skill check you're going to need in a conversation before you start the conversation. The conversations themselves are great, and having limits on what you can and can't do is great, but having the temporary boosts only be accessible before that 
means that you're incentivizing the player to reload a conversation when they already know what to do. You have to read it all the time, yeah. If they had the option built into, you know, use this, you can hit this if you have a temporary boost, do you want to use this right now? Great, that'd be fantastic. You're agonizing too much, save scumming is okay, the devs know how people play games. Okay, North... I'm sure you're a lovely person in real life, and I'm sure we'd get on, but you need to understand this. You can't excuse bad casual game design because you know that players will find a fix for the way they want to play. Yeah, of course players will find a fix for the way they want to play, but you have a system in your game that is only interacted with by manipulating the systems around the game software, not within the gameplay experience itself. If you want to have the game be immersive, it can help to let the player interact with the game systems within a gameplay context, not understand that they need to manipulate the game systems from a kind of meta perspective where they know about quick saving and quick loading. It's like devs will just take away all of that, right up until you hit the complete the quest thing. First impressions of the game are important. They know players will save scum. Yes, they absolutely will save scum. But they also know that players will want to use the boost that they've found. I have been looking for these magazines because I want to know that I can boost my skills to a specific level as and when I need them in a temporary boost. Or you could not put one point into every skill. I mean, that's absolutely fine, but you must understand right now that my speech skill is 78. And I needed, I think it was 85 to pass this speech check. And I've got the temporary items on me to boost it to 85, which is actually a relatively high speech skill. Could I have achieved 85 naturally if I'd put all the points into it? Yeah, absolutely. But if your argument is you can't do this because your static skills aren't at that level, then what is the point of temporary boosts? Temporary boosts exist in limited quantities to allow you to, as the name implies, temporarily boost it up past that. I like how Zul says, most of us agree, can we move on? No, Zul. I'm sorry, but when these conversations start, we just talk about game design for a while. That's the thing. Could a tech restriction be part of the game's age? Yeah, possibly. Absolutely possibly. Josh brings up a good point. Chat starts doing mental gymnastics to prove him wrong. That's absolutely fine. I am building my character to be a jack of all trades to rely on magazines. So normally that... Hang on. The air room is saying a good thing there. So that's a skill issue. You would normally have 100% speech by now. The temporary boosts are for the environment. Yeah, you know what, Iru? That's correct. I am building my build to rely on temporary boosts from magazines, which is why I'm taking the time to find the magazines in the game because they're in the game and they are mechanics the game has built around. The thing is, if I'm building my you know, character to rely on the temporary boosts, why, when the game moment comes that I would be able to succeed with the temporary boost, why is the only way that I can access it by reloading the game before I need it, now I know I need it, using it before, narratively, my character would have known they needed it, and then I get access to it. It would be nice if there was access to it in the conversation because I've got it on me. Now, some of you are going, look, this is an old game. You should just let it be. That's fine. This is something that I've noticed with uh, the Dragon's Dogma 2 thing a lot as well. And I need everyone to understand this. This is probably going to be a YouTube clip. That's fine. I don't think that this is a bad game. But I do think that there are parts of it, systemic parts of it, that are bad systems. And I do think that there are examples of good games used as vehicles to push bad systems. And what you need to be critical of is, even if you have a game that you like a lot, that is overall good, you need to identify the weaknesses within it so when you make another game, you can fix those weaknesses. Someone said in the chat that Baldur's Gate 3 lets you use temporary boosts when you need to use them for the skill check. When the moment comes to actually have the check, if you have access to a temporary boost, you can choose to use it then, which makes sense. 
Maybe they realized that was a good idea because someone many years ago, many, many years before even I've got to it, someone analyzed this system and thought, hey, it would be great if we could design it to allow the temporary boost to be used at the time. But in Baldur's Gate 3, a lot of people just save scum to re-roll. Yeah, that's fine. You can save scum to re-roll if you want to, but you should still have the ability within the system to use the temporary boost at that moment. This is why you level your stats right. You decide to level it optimally. I see. Okay, cool. So it's, it's my fault for playing the game this way that the game has a system that can't really be used efficiently unless you already know that you need to use it. And if I was leveling optimally and I came up against a skill check that I didn't need a temporary boost for, I wouldn't need to use the temporary boost anyway. So the only way that you would ever engage within the temporary boost system or need to use it is if you weren't playing efficiently and you actually do need to use a temporary boost. So it's a bad take because I'm playing in a way that needs the system, which is a valid way to play, but the system itself shouldn't be needed because if I was playing better, I wouldn't need it. Is that kind of where we're on right now? I'm just trying to work out how we're getting around to this. I have built my character in a weird, random way. And I can succeed provided I use the tools the game has given me. However, when the time comes to need those tools, you don't have access to them. You only have access to them, or the ability to activate them, if you will, before you need them. So you need to know that you're going to need them, which you can't know until you've failed. Then you need to reload, use them, and try again. Okay. What is bro yapping about? Oh, pillow, mate. We can do this again. We can start again. It's not a problem at all. Someone just make a mod to allow you to use temporary boost items at the moment you need to use them. We'll start from the top, mate. Not a problem. So, what's that? In fact, you know, we'll just redo the conversation. We'll redo the conversation. Exactly as it was. And then we'll, we'll bring you up to speed on where we are. No, not master. Dog remembers you. Left dog in cage. Mean to dog. <laughs> so dog and we'll god are effectively... Both. We'll just skip. Dog and god are effectively uh, two split personalities of this super mutant right here. And I've been leveling my character in a bit of a weird, strange way. Don't leave. I know that some of you attempted to leave, but I'm doing this right now to make sure we're all on the same page. Infinite content hack. We will do this again if everyone's not paying attention. All right, this is the teacher in me coming out. We will do this repeatedly until everyone in the class is on the same page. The bell does not dismiss you. I do. And I will keep you behind after class. All of you. That's fine. And someone will go, but sir, that's illegal. It's against the Geneva Convention. I don't care. We're not in Geneva. All right? We're in New Vegas. Sit down. Shut up. Pay attention. Here we go. I have a skill level, a speech skill level of about 78 because I've been leveling kind of weirdly, kind of strangely, but it's okay because I've got a couple of temporary boost items in my inventory. The problem is, as soon as I start a conversation like this, I no longer have any access. Your bus is leaving in five minutes. That doesn't sound like my problem. Maybe you should have paid attention. Maybe you should tell your fellow learners, your fellow scholars to pay attention as well. I can pass this speech, Jake, because I have at least 50 speech. Here we go. Oh, hang on. Irumar's typing again. I want to just, I want to read this. The temporary magazines are not a thing you're supposed to rely on. Then why are they in the game? That's not how they were intended. It's a failsafe on when you encounter a lock that you lack five points to be able to unlock. Oh, gotcha. That's why there's a speech magazine. Because you can talk at the lock until it unlocks itself. Gotcha. We're on the same page. Or if there's a conversation you can come back to. Some conversations you can back out of, some you can't. That's how the game's designed. And saying this is poor game design is not fair to the game. Iramat, did you design this? Did you work for Bethesda? Is this your baby? Have I insulted your specific design? I'm sorry if I have, but it is bad. 
There are skill checks for most of the skills in the game throughout the whole game. Yes, Iramar, I'm aware of this. Uh, what you have said in your kind of little paragraph there is you have said, some of the chats are designed like this, and some of them are designed like this. That's a great point. That's a fantastic point to make. Which is the better design? Because what we should probably do is design more of the chats like that. We should work out which is the best one of these two, or if they are offering different gameplay experiences, maybe there is a third secret design that we could put in. Because consider the narrative thing. Some conversations you can indeed back out of, use a temporary boost item, and then go back into. That's actually quite good. I quite like that because that allows me to use the temporary boost items for the purpose they were used for. Some of them, you can't do that, which means what the player will do is reload the game, use the boost item, and start the conversation again, which from a player point of view is functionally no different to being able to back out of the conversation, use the item, and then start the conversation again, but is practically different because now you have loading times. So what you've said is, some players are going to play like this. Okay, cool. Maybe we should make the game easier to access while they're choosing to play like that. Making sense so far? This is poor game design, it's not fair to the game. Well, if the player is going to interact with both of the conversations in roughly the same way, maybe we should just remove the loading screens from that. This is a lecture about game design. We're going to be here a while, okay? What are we discussing? I missed the beginning of the talk. Can you summarize it? Yes, I can. We'll keep it going. Don't worry. I'm sure there's a couple of... Maybe Todd Howard himself is in chat. And he's like, look, guys, guys, we really, really need to sort this out. I like loading screens. Some of them are fun. Some of them are great. So you've said that, I mean, some people are defending the idea that you shouldn't be able to use temporary boost mid-conversation. You should only be able to use them at the start or the end of the conversation. And some conversations you can back out of early and some you can't. I think if you have a temporary boost item and you want to be able to use it, you should be given the chance to use it at the time it is needed and not need to randomly guess when it might or might not be needed. Right. Should we carry on try again? Look, so speech, 50. Oh, I can pass that. Hmm? Master? Don't want Master to be mad. What does... It's not a problem. We'll keep going. Speech 75. I can pass that as well. Master? Oh, that's excellent. We've met... Oh, no. Oh, bugger. That one I can't pass. Speech 78 out of 85. But hang on. I've got a temporary speech boosting item in my inventory. Maybe I could use that. Oh, no, I can't. I can't back out of this conversation. I need to very much commit to using it. But hang on, what? why? I've got a temporary boost item. I have an item that can do exactly what I need it to do, but I can't access it right now. That's a problem. I can't access the temporary boost item I need to use at the moment I need to use it. I, If only I could back out of this conversation, I should have leveled correctly. I should have leveled correctly. Clearly, 78 speech was not enough, but I didn't think I'd need to level it more because I've got a temporary boost item that would boost me to effectively 98. It's a pretty high speech class. I could go for that. If only there were a way that I could back out of the conversation. Oh, there is. I just reload the quick save, which players are going to do. So maybe you should have just designed it that players can use the temporary boost items in the chat so they don't need to do this. Kill us all. We can, can hear you. Are we all on board now? Are we all on the same kind of... Sorry, I got lost. Can you go over this from the top? Yeah, of course, no problem at all. all so, basically, down. when you talk to this guy, you. what happens is you get speech checks. The first speech check is 50. And I've got at least 50 speech. So, I can pass this. Hmm? There we go. Done. Not a problem at all. And because this is an RPG or a role-playing game, I am playing the role of someone who is relatively eloquent within the game. Now, I know that I've leveled my stats quite weirdly. I've put, you know, I've just done that whole kind of balance thing. But what I've done is I've actually balanced my balance by having a load of temporary boosts within it. Not trying to take a massive stance either way, I'd like to point out that the speech checks aren't binary. You have a chance to pass them even if you don't meet the skill. Are you sure? Are you sure? 
I mean, maybe we could try it, but I don't think that's correct. I think in New Vegas, they are binary, and you definitely fail them. In Fallout 3, I believe there was a chance that you could pass even if you had low, but then there was a chance you could fail even if you had high, which was kind of dumb. So yeah, in New Vegas it is, you either succeed or fail. See, I can pass this 75 speech because I've got at least 75 speech, but oh, I can't pass that 78 out of 85. But it's okay, I've got a temporary boost item, but I can't use it because there's no option to use it right now. So I have to reload the game to be able to use it before the speech, but how would I have known to use it before failing effectively? Anyway, that was a discussion about game design of being able to use temporary boosts at the moment of needing them, not before you might need them and might not need them and need to kind of guess and preventing the player from needing to constantly reload and save scum. Hey, calm, calm. You're okay, buddy. I'm... Look, kangaroo, I get passionate about game design because I like games. I'm not angry or annoyed... I just want games to be good. I love games. We all love games. And we need to understand the systems that make games good or bad. So I'm going to use a temporary boost item to boost my speech. An item that I've had on me for a while that will give me a speech boost. Here we go. Fire then we talk. Now. You, mas Okay. Speech 50. I can pass this. It's fine. Hmm? Speech 75. I can pass that. That's fine as well. Master. Now. And, uh, speech 85. I can now pass this as well. If there is a speech 100 check at the end, we're going to have to reload and I'm going to have to use another item as well. Oh, <laughs> game design. Dog can see the voice. Looks just like dog. And dog looks just like me. You've hurt yourself. Inside. Do you see now? See? In the water. Dog understands now. Dog knows what happened. Do you know what happens if you go into the water, dog? If dog... If dog goes into the water, dog can't help if master gets mad. You were nice to dog. Dog wants to help. He's right. If you merge us, then... I... We... Or whatever we become... We can't help you when you reach whatever's at the Sierra Madre's end. And Dog... Dog doesn't want to unremember you, may forget you. We will forget almost all that has happened here. You'll be alone, at the old man's mercy. Like Dog. Like me. Okay, hang on. Iru Man has put something in the chat. I know we've finished this, but we've got to go back. Josh. Would you prefer if you couldn't see the dialogue checks you can't pass? That way you couldn't rely on the magazines in those situations unless you actually knew about them beforehand. Okay, Iruman. So let's say that there is a speech check that requires 75 to pass. Are you saying that unless I have 75 speech, that option should never appear? It only appears when you have 75 speech. Okay, I get where you're coming from with this. In that case, temporary boost items would only ever be used by people who have read the wiki and know that you need to boost to have access to them. That would mean that temporary boosts would be something that you have to randomly gamble on using every time before any conversation, just in case you happen to you know, trip over the threshold of that specific thing. That's how some games work. Yes, it is how some games work. But 
if you don't know that there is a higher option that you could boost to, in that case, don't have temporary boosts. If you're going to have a game that has temporary stat boosts, it would be helpful to know when using that boost would be useful. Because if you don't have the boost, you won't use it. If you do have the boost, you don't want to waste it. And RPG players are normally about using specific things at the right time. It would be helpful to know when to use it. Equipment also gives stat boost too. That's true. That is very true. And now we get into the whole kind of discussion of is it silly to swap equipment mid-conversation? I mean, that would be a bit weird, but if you could back out of the conversation, swap all your equipment to start the conversation again, practically no different to reloading it and doing the whole thing again. Now, when we have discussions like this, this is what people need to understand. I'm not saying that there is a definitive right and wrong way to design games. I'm saying it is a more complicated process than this is right, this is wrong. There is what I find enjoyable and what I don't find enjoyable, but I might find bad design enjoyable. I might find good design not enjoyable. You need to be able to kind of divorce yourself from what you personally like and look at what gamers are going to do and what's going to make the experience the game wants you to have. Some people are saying you should just fail the check because it's an RPG game. That's absolutely fine. If that's how you want to play, if you want to just fail the check, that's okay. But other players will see that there is a check and want to succeed it. They will also have the ability on them at the time to succeed it, but they haven't kind of put that process into action. So what they will do is they will reload the game, put that process into action, and then try and pass the check. So I'm saying if players are going to do that, maybe we should put a system into the game that allows them to start the process of kind of passing the check without forcing them to go through the process of needing to reload. I'm saying if the player is going to... If the player is sees that they fail the check, okay, I'm going to fail, but you've got the ability to pass. Some people might say, this is great, I'll just fail. That's fine, that's how I'm going to roleplay, that's okay. Some other players would say, I would like to be able to pass because I know I've got the ability on me. And so they'll reload it. I'm saying if you're going to give the player the knowledge that they could have passed, it would also be beneficial to give them the process to act on that knowledge without needing to reload the game. You know what, dog? Not having your help doesn't matter if this heals you. Dog understands. Dog has done bad things. Knows why voice was furious with him. Tired of the anger. Thank you, Courier. Even if it's only for minutes before the Sierra Madre kills us all, then Dog hopes you find a way to save self like you help Dog. And when you meet him, find a way to save yourself as you try to save us. Otherwise, I'll be upset with you. We came this far, mate. I'll manage. Go on. Just let go. You were there all the time. All the time. You were there. And so close. Together. You were right. Who... Who are you? What is this place? It'd take a bit too long to explain, mate. I feel as if I've woken up. I don't know you, yet I feel like I do, and a feeling of... gratitude. I... Forgive me, I... I'm wounded. This chain... This bear trap on my arm. How did I even get this far with these wounds? The pain is excruciating. I... I need to rest for a moment. 
So, you go and rest. I've got to take care of something. Thank you. For whatever you have done. I will remain here. Need to get my strength back. Dog, first of all... Doc, if you're in a conversation with somebody and you have the ability to pass a skill check within that conversation and you had like a, a temporary, oh my god, we could level up, we could level everything up. You know what? Maybe I should pick a specialty. We've ascended to level 21. Maybe I should actually pick a specialty and then I should be like, okay, I'm going to pass all these skill checks. No, don't worry about it. I've got temporary skill boosts on me. That They're in the game. That's what they're designed for. I'm going to level everything up evenly and just rely on the temporary skill boosts because they are in the game, which means clearly they are meant to be used within the game. Let's put melee weapons onto 50. There we go. Perfect stuff. Done. That is a perfectly balanced way to level up. And now we can get rid of all of the other kind of gas pipe valve things. It is perfect. Get two points on speech to get plus 100 with mags. No. Too easy. Too simple, too easy. It would, it would remove the challenge of needing to play the game. Okay, the gas valves need to be repaired. There's one more gas valve, apparently, somewhere. If I were a gas valve, where would I be? I'd be there. All the valves are repaired. With successful skill checks. Any more gas valves? No, I think we're good. I think we're good to go. See you later, dog. Sorry you had to go through what you went through. Use maintenance pass key to open the door. It's in here. Nothing. Try shooting to see if they're fixed. Finally, I can watch you live. I'm a big fan of your YouTube videos. In fact, Mick, I'm glad you're here. Mick, what do you think about temporary skill boosts in games? Like, let's say, for instance, that you're having a conversation with a super mutant who is two personalities uh, split, one called Dog, one called God, just, you know, hypothetical. And let's imagine that your skill at speech is around 78, and you've got a temporary boost item that could boost it to 98, and then you reach a skill check that requires you to have 85. Do you think you should allow a player to be able to use that temporary boost skill check in the middle of the conversation, or would you require them to read... Oh, he left. Okay. Oh, he left left the stream. I like the very first thing he ever said. Hi guys, love the YouTube videos. And I'm like, listen, game design. We need to talk about this. I think we need to think this, hang on, I think we need to think this matter through. Iruman, I don't know if I should ban you or make you a mod. I mean, right now, my, it's a very in-between kind of decision. One of them is the right thing to do, but I don't know which one. You have the last ride. That's all I need. Now, go to the main lobby terminal. Thread the music sequence together. Right. Main lobby. What's up, bro? Yeah, see? Shot you. Hang on. Now, I don't know if I'll need to do an explosive skill check in the next couple of seconds, so maybe I should read the Patriot's cookbook just in case. And, you know, you can never be too prepared, can you? Never be too prepared for what's around the corner. Before we have literally any conversation, I'm going to think, right, what could this be about? Shadow says, hi Josh, first time catching a stream, hi. Shadow, I'm glad you're here. Shadow, what would you say if you had skills as a character. Let's say that maybe you had a speech skill, and during a conversation with another character, the speech skill was a little bit lower than a skill check that you had to make in the game. Oh no, not again! <laughs> you know exactly what you're here for. He's stuck on a loop. Our new greeting to everyone. This is how we're streaming from now on. 
That's exactly how it's going. He's doing it now for every new person who in chat keeps reloading the autosave. It's silly. It's it's very silly. We I wouldn't be silly like that. I'm a very serious gamer. Uh, okay, Jode, hi, this is my first time in chat. What is your opinion on skill checks? Now, Jode, I know that that's not because you just highlighted it. However, uh, Foxable, hello, Josh, first time here. Foxable, thank you, I'm glad you're here. Foxable, let's imagine that you were playing an RPG game and you had a skill stat, a speech stat, say 78 out of 100, and you start talking to a super mutant who has a skill check of 85 out of 100. Now, you've got the temporary boost items in your inventory to make this check, but you can't use them. Uh, without reloading the game and using them before the chat, but you wouldn't know to use them until you'd already had the chat. So you see this kind of, this Aruboros that we get caught in, this kind of uh, weird, what's that shape with one side, the disc, when you get a piece of paper and you turn it over and you glue it to itself, whatever that shape is, that's the one. I feel responsible for this. You very much should do it, Mark. You absolutely are. Cheer. Healthy discourse is good. You know what else is good? Being able to use temporary boosts when I need them. <laughs> Did you check the oven for any temporary boosts? I will need to- It's not called a circle, hero. <laughs> There's a thing where you take a, a disc, take a strip of paper, put a half twist in it. Uh, is it a, a rhombus? No, it's not a rhombus strip. A Mobius strip. A rhombus is like a square that's been crushed. It's not a circle. It's a Morbius strip. It's worth one more billion dollars. Okay, let me just shoot this guy in the head. All right, cool. He's dead now. He failed his skill checks. Activate temporary boost. Is that going to be the new meme? If only we could activate a temporary boost. One more down. Where do I get the red pill to leave the circle? Well, the thing is, unless you've taken the red pill before you start the conversation, you actually can't take it in the middle of the conversation, even if one of the options says, you could pick this option if you had the red pill. You have to have specifically known that you needed to have taken it. So what you need to do is reload before the conversation, take it then. And I'm saying, hey, maybe this should be an option in the conversation to take it at that time. And maybe you should be allowed to do it then. I'm about to temporary stat boost all this in chat. <laughs> Opens up Cosmo magazine for a stat boost. Oh, maybe my temporary stat boost was left in my spare uniform. Round and round we go. Time is a flat circle. Hold on, dog. Just got to take my charisma meds. Can we reload before this conversation? Maybe. Maybe we could. Uh, no one pointed out that I'm on 14 health, so I should probably fix that. Give me a second. Uh, let's go with... Water. Water. Some food, maybe. A stim pack. And I'm sure I had some more food. But if not, we'll just do, like, a couple of stim packs. There we go. Now we're all safe. If we think about it, health items are actually temporary boosts. They are. It's very convenient that you can use them as you need them in the middle of a fight. Imagine if you had to boost your health to maximum before the fight starts, and then halfway through the fight they're like, you've got a potion, but you can't drink it. Josh, please. No. I will not stop. I will not stop. You can't make me. Another critical strike. We are just wrecking these guys, and now I'm out of bullets. If you think about it, bullets are just kind of temporary boosts to guns. It's a good thing that you can reload as and when you need them. Let's go with a 9mm pistol. Got some bullets for this bad boy. Oh god, he's jumping around all over the place. And I'm on fire as well. Gotta wait for him to, to do that. Hang on, quick save, run forward. Love your YouTubes, last time catching a stream. Oh, thank you very much, welcome to the stream. Uh, let me just ask you a question. Let's imagine you're playing an RPG game. And... <laughs> oh, can you imagine? Can you imagine? This stream is now, this is a temporary boost stream. 
my god, why is this guy not dead yet? Search him. He's unconscious. Hang on. Let's just fix this. The cosmic knife. Oh! Damn. Okay. Now it's dangerous. Let's grab a gas bomb. Might be useful. Might not. Don't know. But we've got it. Stop complaining about not being able to temporary boost. <laughs> I will complain about what I wish, as and when I wish. Time for the knife. Backslash. He can't do it. See how I slice. See how he punches. Ooh, nearly died. Time to temporarily boost the health up. Let's just go with dirty water and purified water and two stim packs. Quick temporary health boost. And then we kill him. Fantastic. If only there was a temporary boost mega pack with 80% more value. I hope this stream has temporarily boosted everyone's mood. That's important. Let's just go with a couple of... A couple of drinks. Save the game. And where did you want me to go now? Was it this place just here? The receptionist terminal? Ah, lovely. Let's, uh... Holographic greeter. Cool. Hello, you. See, the game is saying go here. Music controls. Retrieve theatre ambient track. Retrieve restaurant and retrieve suites. All done. And now to go to the vault. Hello. Starlet hologram. Maybe it's time now to go to the vault. I didn't know my mood was supposed to be temporarily boosted by coming here. I have to leave and come back in. That's actually true, Ghoulie. See, if you arrive at this stream and you discover that your mood is either too you know, good or too bad, you need to leave the stream, set the correct mood, then rejoin it. What you can't do is change your mood during the stream. Floor That's not a system like we have. The guests too well. Check the suite. Found the holographic woman from the Villa Fountain. So, poisoned, toxic cloud through here, around here. Oh yeah, we want to go into the... We now want to go into the thing, don't we? Have we got to talk to you about this? Oh god, we've got to talk to Christine again about this. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we don't need a kind of temporary boost. You're back. You sure you still want me here? Call I found the phrase for the audio lock. You did. Looks like even the old world can't keep you out when you've got a mind to get in. So, I just rasp out some words and the vault opens? That woman, the starlet, she didn't build this place. Why would the builder do that? Not sure. Doesn't feel like a casino. Not entirely. I know. The sealed doors, the security. It's almost a fortress. Think that's why we're being ordered to come here and crack it open? Well, target's the vault, not the casino, right? It's possible. This place is immense. And it still has power, food dispensers, security. Is it all for pre-war guests? Or for her? I believe he loved her. And he wanted to protect her. Maybe slightly too much. Love makes people do strange things. I won't argue that. It can drive you crazy sometimes if you can't... connect. If they loved each other, and they were together. I suppose that's all that mattered. But she's in that side room, dead, because the casino wouldn't let her leave. Who knows where he is? I have no idea. Let's unlock this. The phrase is contained in the lyrics to a song. Alright. If you go down there, are you prepared? 
What if you don't come back? Well, I've got you to come down after me. It'll respond to your voice. I just wanted to make sure you're ready. When you go down there, that may be it for us. We won't be needed anymore. The one who made these callers, he'll follow you down there. And he won't let you leave. He's not one for sharing. Never was. Damn. My perception is too low. I wonder. I wa- No, it's a crazy thought. It's an insane thought. But I wonder if maybe I don't but maybe picking up that interference frequency what if I did floors live with speakers and radios. right Keep an ear anything out. gives me Watch a perception walls. boost oh pre-war hat that's already on perception plus one fantastic so we're already there Vera's outfit, barter, speech, charisma, that's all good. What about any kind of percept Oh, that's absinthe, perception plus one, that's a boost. Give that a go. Uh, anything else that would re boost perception just momentarily? Might not do. But we perception plus two, Mentas. Let's give that a go. Let's have a chat to Christine after we've taken those, shall Jeez. we? Just interesting to see what would happen if... Uh, it doesn't feel like a casino, does it? It's the... Oh, it targets the vault. Yeah, that's good. He loved it. He wanted to protect her. They loved each other. Uh, the phrase in the lyrics to a song. Let's do it. You can come down after me and save me. Oh my goodness! What do you know? Now, you can disagree with me, but personally, it was a little bit silly that we had to reload the game use all of our boosts, and then have the same conversation again. If only there was a way that we could have done that in the conversation. No. No, there, there, there couldn't, there couldn't be. No, it's, game design, it's, game design like that is beyond us. I guess we can only dream. You know, that's why you're waiting. You're gonna kill him. I... I can't let him leave here. Look, you've done so much, and he's not gonna show himself until you go down there. Do you trust me? If you do, let go of this. I can't let go. Every time I've thought about it, I've lost him so many times. He needs to die. What happened here with us? He's... He's done so much worse. Let him come through the suites. Follow me. If he escapes, you'll still be here. Waiting. You have to promise me. Promise me you'll deal with him. If I see him, I... Christine. Let me deal with him. All right. All right, I'll... But I'll need to leave this floor. He'll pick up my collar and... Look, Christine. For now, don't tell me where you're going. I will find you. I... Never mind. Let me get the vault open. Begin again but know when to let go. <laughs> Sounds like you. I'm gonna quick save the game and get ready to reload. You need to tell him it's your first time here, otherwise you'll fail the speech check. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> Fallout New Vegas designers were like, you know what'll really piss off a mid-tier YouTuber in about 14 years? Begin again, but know when to let go. Elevator to the vault. Maybe we should uh, save the game here. 
just in case. So this is more like an actual vault, Fallout vault, than money vault. Saved all the companions. Oh yeah. Oh. God damn, okay. And of course the collar is beeping. Right, this is this seems far more techy than I was expecting a little vault to be. This is basically like a survival vault. I'm guessing if we go through there we die. Nope. Can't go through there at all. Let's access this. Elevator protocols warning. If vault security is disabled and the vault terminal is breached, the elevator will automatically return to the suites and lock permanently in place. After that, there is no way to operate the elevator and the vault area is sealed off. As requested by Mr. Sinclair, there is no manual or terminal override once the elevator is locked. Until that time, it may be operated freely. Open the maintenance access, please. My collar has now stopped beeping, which means the beep somewhere around here. But it stops beeping when we go this way. Okay. People are telling me this section sucks. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I've got a load of temporary boosts. I know what I'm doing. It's this way. Gun case. Magnums. Pistols. Oh, now I'm... Now I'm over-encumbered. Hang on. Weapons. Fix the cosmic knife with the other cosmic knife. Fix one of the bear trap fists with the other bear trap fists. And now we are back to the correct weight. Good stuff. I don't want a knife for a fight that could potentially have me shooting things further away. So, I'm going to go with this. I hate how fast the collar starts beeping. Can't outrun it. God damn. Okay. Right. We've got to find it. We've got to find where the heck this collar is. It will be somewhere. Is it you? Nope. Oh, hang on. Is it you? Yes. Yes, it is. Good. Okay, got one of you. Now just to hopefully locate a little secret stash over here. Yeah, there is. Nothing important, though. Which is a shame. Paul is beeping again, but not over here. Which means there's a thing in there somewhere. Remember to eat your magazines. <laughs> Before we do anything else. Always eat your magazines, guys. Okay, Carlos has stopped beeping when we're over here. However, we are being poisoned by a toxic cloud. Gotta oh, get in there somehow. Stopped beeping. Beeps this way. to die. Reload. Okay, so finding where the heck these things are is quite irritating. But it does seem to... You know, once again. Ah, okay. So that one stops that. There is another thing when we get into there. Question is, where on earth is it? So it's got to be that way. I can't spot another one of the speakers. 
but it is that way. Forgot about the beeps. There was some kind of temporary beep boost. Okay, so it stops beeping over here. I don't think it's anywhere down there. We've got to almost run in and around. Stops beeping here, which is good. Anything in the ammo box? Bullets. Bullets are good. And then it, it's kind of got to be just like a go. Oh, it's there. There's one there. Damn it! Damn it, we- oh my goodness, we got so close. We got so close. Behind you, it probably was behind me. But we know what I'm- know where we're going now. One of them taken down. Good. Quick save. Only we had some kind of temporary boost. Oh, we did it. Okay. We got to here. We're doing okay. We're in a better position than we were before. <laughs> Christine, trust me, I'll be back. And then she just hears a faint explosion. Oh, God. There's so many of those stupid holograms. Oh, okay. Apparel. Assassin suit. As effect. More, more sneak. More good sneak. Quick save. Let's go. You guys ready? Here we go. Turn my little light off. Okay, I've got to get past them and deal with the stupid beeps. Oh, right. This is not the best room in the world. This is not the best room in the world. Run. Activate the hologram control center. Can we just, like, turn it off? Check hologram... Mr. Sinclair. Interesting. Hologram status is the electric pod access. Can we get rid of you? Just, like, turn you off? So, there's you. I'm trying to work out where the hell I need to get them to go to. If not, I'm trying to work out where the hell the radios are. Because this is very much a case of just kind of running. I do not know how I made that. But I made it, which is fine. Shut alarms down. Turn off security force field. That's so much easier. Nothing's going to go wrong now. What else was happening? Set alternate route. Good. The alternate route's going on. Where does that go to? Don't know. Don't know what the default route was. But we've turned everything off, and I don't think anything is going to be bad now. I think we're now totally safe. Done that route twice. Go this way. We're in here. And everything's great. Vault security terminal? Ah, oh, security protocols. Yes, we've already read that. It's all bad. We know how terrible it all is. About to die. God damn it. Oh, okay. I dislike this level design because of how phenomenally unfair it feels. There is a radio around here somewhere. But I cannot for the life of me find it. Maybe we should die less. 
Oh, spot on. 100% totally agree. Spot on. You are right. Maybe we should jump on the roof. Let's just climb this way. Let's get higher this way. Steal that lunchbox, obviously. Why wouldn't we? Oh! Hello! Shut you down straight away. That makes this a lot easier. The fact we can actually find the stupid things that are making the holograms and shoot them and shut them down. Oh. I don't dislike the decisions that they've made in this DLC. It's not bad. I feel there is definitely still room for improvement, without a doubt. But in general, I'd say it's one of the more kind of solid bits of experience within the Fallout world. Oh, not you. You seem dangerous. My problem is here. Here, there is somewhere a thing. And I do not believe that I can get rid of it. Were you the final one? Oh, you were. Okay, cool. So now I can exist in peace. Use the terminal. Check security. That's fine. What about this terminal over here? Maybe there's something important on this. Can we... Okay. Vault security protocol information. Maintenance staff warning. Yeah, that's all bad. Okay, we know that's bad. Disengage security protocols. Yes. Brilliant. Okay. Security protocols disengaged. This is good. Now, this is the only DLC I've played for the game. So maybe the other ones are better. I don't know. But it's not the worst experience I've had. That is straight up a big-ass vault. Nothing will go wrong if I try and get in. Okay. Everything seems safe and fine. Extracted holotape. Maybe we should listen to this. Maybe it's important. This holotape looks like it was ripped from a terminal drive. Vera, if you're reading this, I know what you and Dean had planned tonight, on the eve of the gala event. I loved you very much. And whatever possessed you to choose Dean's arm over my hand is beyond me. Whether it was greed or lust, it has led you here and will forever keep us apart. I hope it leaves you as empty as you left me as much as you sought what was inside the Sierra Madre. Now it will keep you. The door has sealed, the elevator has left, and not even your voice will unlock it. This casino was my gift to you, and you now will be its heart for all time. Sincerely, Frederick Sinclair. So he knew. He knew. He knew all along. Not even your voice will unlock it. Maybe we shouldn't have used the voice. But I'm going to save. Just in case. And that... is a body. Sinclair's back. Nikola Tesla and you! Open the Founder's Remains. Specific. For God's sake. And this is where his adventure ended. Dying next to Sinclair. Sinclair isn't alone anymore. Oh, he's all good now. He's all fine. 
dirty water, purified water, a couple of stim pack things should get us done. Yeah. Alright, now we're good. Quick save. Drop down. Grab the bag. It's got a thing in it that we need. Jump out of here if we can. Yeah, are we safe now? Nope, not really. We're going back this way. Is this way a good way? Yeah, this way seems good. Ah, cool, we're good. We're no longer being poisoned by a toxic cloud. I don't think we've missed anything major down here. Maybe we should try and actually get into this stupid place. Let's see what goes on. Sulan, first time catching a stream. Uh, Visa's clips and your game reviews are both great. Thank you very much, Sulan. Welcome to the stream. Tell me, Sulan, if you were playing an RPG game and you had a speech stat of 78, and during a conversation with an NPC... <laughs> we're not going to do it. And we're not going to do it. This, you've suffered enough. You've all suffered enough. Let's try and activate this door. Only the trustworthy may enter my vault. I'm going to try and unlock the door. Well, hello there. Just checking there's no one else around. Hello. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, goodness me. Gold bar value 10,000. There's so many of them. Sierra Madre chips, pre-war money, gold bars. There. Oh, bugger. Okay, the door's closed. Right. Um, well, we're in. How do we get out? Loot all the loot. So, the problem is they're way 35. You are over-encumbered and cannot run. Should I drop everything that basically isn't gold bars? I think we should probably do that. Yeah, let's let's just do it. Apparel. We got the money. No reason. So I don't need the dead money jumpsuit. That's got a weight to it. Nah, pointless. Don't need you. Vera's outfit I quite like, so we'll keep that, because it's sexy. Nothing else has given me plus strength bonus, which will be annoying. The assassin suit's cool, though. Weapons, we don't need 40 throwing spears. Let's just drop all of them. Okay, cool. They all just fall down there. Why am I still over-encumbered? Wait, 251 out of 250. I... Why am I still super over-encumbered? It's because I picked up one of the bars. One gold bar. Weapons. Let's see what I don't need. Okay. Don't need two bear traps. Don't need all the... Cosmic knives are rubbish. Frag grenades are fine. They've got some weight to them. Hollow rifle's pretty heavy. Don't need the automatic rifle. It's too heavy. Pistol's crap. No ammo for it. I'm going to throw away stuff that I have no ammo for. Gas bombs. Drop them all. Let's grab another gold bar. Maybe a, one more? Yeah, we've got one more. Carry. Drop everything and take all the gold. No, no, I'm going to keep some stuff. You can't drop everything. That would be dangerous. I've got six knife spears. Let's drop all six of them. And then let's grab... I've got enough gold bars now. Three is fine. You don't need more than three of anything. Doctor's bear. Oh, my goodness. There's loads of stuff here. Now that, that is treasure. That is real treasure right there. Not your gold, but knowledge. Gold bar. Can't leave. Need a science skill of 100. We don't have that. Don't need you. Okay. How do I get out of here? It is possible to take them all. Can I just... Hang on. You can move things around, can't you? What was it? Was it Q? What was the move things around button? I'm sure that it was Z, wasn't it? That was it. Pressing Z. It's not working. 
Okay, so you can't move... Move the money. Can't move the gold. Guessing it's too heavy to drag. Okay, yeah, cool. Gold bars can't be moved. They're too heavy to drag. That's irritating, but not unexpected. I'm going to buy some more stim packs. Mod hollow rifle focus. Potentially, but no, I'm good. Stim packs. They're important. Ten of those. Way better. Right. What's on here? Security enabled. Terminal locked. Error. Vault security enabled. Well. I never. Um, where do we get out? Vault security terminal. Let's just deactivate it. It's fine. Disengage it. Disengaging. Alright. Can I open the door? Nope. Maybe I can now use this. Vera Keys or Vera? Oh, no. Vera Keys or Vera? Maybe I go with Vera Keys. That was the fake name. But Vera was also the fake name. But her... Let's just try Vera. Important. Vera. Read. Vera, if you're reading this, my fears have come to pass, and this is an apology. I hope you realize what my last words meant to you. If so, they have led you here, and this place will keep you safe. I know what they meant for me, and I fear they have trapped me here. I have extracted the previous entry after our conversation tonight. It can't have been easy for you, and I am sorry for all I've put you through in silence. I know while you did not love me, you did not mean any malice in what you did. I knew about your plans to rob the casino with Dean before you told me. Hearing it from you didn't make it any easier. For what it's worth, I am glad you told me yourself, and I understood the tapes he had in his possession. I do not think either one of you realized what your addiction stemmed from. However, that is the tragedy in this, I suspect the world would not have believed you. Regardless, I respect your desire to keep it from others. When first building this villa, this casino, I meant it for you. As the world seems to race headlong toward war, it became part of my desire to protect you. The loans, the funding I poured into the casino's construction, I knew it would not matter when war came for us. It was my means of creating a shelter, a defense if the world was bombarded in radiation and bombs. When Dean revealed his plans inadvertently through our introduction, I realized what had happened and how I had been tricked. For a time, my thoughts were dark. I changed the casino vault from a shelter to a trap, as I knew the first one to enter would be Dean. He would die down here, and it would have been by his own hand. I fear, however, that I overstepped myself, and the only safe place in the casino is the vault. I have tried to rewire the systems, change the protocols, and I cannot. I will do one last check on the pipes by the edge of the outside platform and see if anything can be done. I fear it's useless. If you come down here, do not access my personal accounts entry. It contains only a message for Dean, and it will seal the door, and you will have no way out. Even the elevator is designed to automatically return when the door is closed, and it will lock in place. There should be enough in the vault to sustain you until help arrives. I have ensured there is enough medical supplies down here to keep you comfortable. The hologram should defend the casino from any attackers, and the hologram beacon in the villa will broadcast an emergency signal so that others will know you are here. When danger has passed, rescue will come. I hope you were able to read this and know that I loved you. Frederick Sinclair. Sinclair's personal accounts are a trap. We do not read it. Vera Keys. Hollow disk extracted. File not found. You. You're in the vault, finally. After all this time. The Sierra Madre. Mine. Don't move. Don't go into the vault and don't touch anything else. There may be more traps down there. Another security system. 
Still hiding behind screens, I see. Hiding? Hardly. Trapped. You think you were the first one to unlock the casino door? No, I didn't. With other hands, other bodies. After that, the casino wouldn't let go. Once I was locked in, no way out. Until your pit boy signal came to life in the villa. Then, then, uh, things changed. And here you are. I'm sick of talking to an image on a screen. If you're gonna come down, then just come down and talk to me face to face. No. I'm not going to take the chance while I'm so close. Not this close. No. Not again. I can wait. Afford to be careful. You? You're locked down there. This is the only entrance. And I have free reign of the Sierra Madre. I have time. More than you. Besides, there might be more traps. I'll send more scouts in. Yes, others. You're resourceful. Don't want to leave anything more to chance. Unless you come down here, I will destroy the vault and everything in it. No, I don't think so. It'd most likely trigger other security measures. If you hurt the vault at all. The builder of the casino built it to last. The Sierra Madre withstood the war. I'm sure the vault is protected as well. Besides, you wouldn't have followed the signal if you didn't want this place's secrets for your own. You're curious. Past the threats. Oh no. However, I actually don't think I have any temporary boosts that would boost me enough. I mean, the closest I could get would be science, which is 25, 26 too low. I would need a 26 science boost. Wonder if I could do it. So, what boosts science? Let's find out. So science is governed by intelligence. So I need to boost both intelligence and science. Let's find out. Let's see what we've got. Mentas, intelligence plus two. Okay. That would, right now my science skill is 49. If I were to take the Mentas, what would we go to? Let's have a quick check. We take that, we go to science 53, which means, oh no, we are still, we are still 22 shy of where we need to be. And I don't think I've got any other intelligence or even science boosts. I need an intelligence boost or a science boost. I've got meds. I actually don't think I have a science boost. I have no science boosts. That's annoying. What other boosts do I have? Is Tesla a book? I've got Nikola Tesla and... You. That's energy weapons. Correct, but it's energy weapons, not science. Is there anything in the vending machine? Not that would boost intelligence, I believe. There's Mentas, but again, you can't stack them. Which is a shame. There is no way to boost. What I would also need to boost is... Did I have Repair plus 20 and Doctor's Clothes? My Doctor's Clothes were taken off me when I started this whole thing. So there's no Doctor's Clothes in here either. The other one was Repair and Explosives, wasn't it? So... 
I don't think there was anything. So, Dead Money Jumpsuit gives me repair, re repair, repair plus five. So, if I were to have a look and have a look at stats, because one was repair, wasn't it? There are glasses on the table which will give intelligence. Eyeglasses. Items, apparel. They don't give intelligence boosts. They do not give INT boosts, which is a shame. That is a shame. Repair scales off intelligence, though, right? Okay. Check the freezer for a book. Just fail the check, get the gold. No, no, we're going to wait. We're going to wait. So even with repair, if I were to put on the dead money jumpsuit, which takes my repair to 50... 50 repair is governed by which main skill is repair governed by intelligence i think it is okay yeah intelligence science repair and medicine because that gets my repair to 50. i don't think anything else boosts it up past it no nothing else gets the intelligence up what covers one of them was explosives, I'm sure. What covers explosives? Perception. Okay, so explosives are covered by perception, which is currently 7. My explosive skill is 48. That's boosted by perception, which could be boosted with absinthe. Let's go for the apparel. Any of these cover perception? Now, Vera's outfit's nice, but it doesn't do anything else. What else boosts perception and explosives? Charisma. Perception plus two Mentas. And then explosives, Patriot's cookbook. 70, not 75. Already ate the Mentas, didn't we? Already ate the Mentas. I need like a 5 explosives boost. Or for a perception. Don't think there's any more perception boosts. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, that's fine. We can fail it. We need plus 3 perception. Are you winning? We are winning. We are winning. But... Not perfectly, which is a shame. What does endurance cover? So that's plus three. Endurance is... Oh, it just says that kind of stuff. Health, environmental things. I don't think... What about the booze at the very bottom? Don't think we've got that. Yeah, that's um, intelligence, strength, and charisma doesn't do perception. It's a real shame. Because otherwise, we get our stats pretty goddamn high, but not quite high enough. We can't get repair, explosives, or anything else high enough. You have 10 luck. 70 could be enough. Luck, I don't think, comes into this. But we can try. Oh, yeah. Let's do this, don't we, over here. What's in the suitcase? It's in the gun... Oh, nice! Oh, hell, hello! That is a load of armor. Decent. Let's take the... energy cells. Oh, nice, some laser pistols. Okay. Sierra Madre reinforced armor's good. No, I'm good. I'm good for the time being. Yeah, there's no RNG with this. You either do or don't. I don't think the vending machine gives me anything that gives me a buff or a boost. Mentas can't be stacked, which is a real shame. Oh, man. Now, if Mentas could be stacked, we'd make it, but I... Didn't you have a plus 20 explosives book? Already read it. Already read that, my friend. Items. We had guns. Guns and lockpicks, but not explosions. I've already read that. Which 
was a shame. Oh, well. That's okay. This one we did not have the ability to pass, so we will fail. Drink the milk for a plus one boost, if only. There is a repair book, but we still don't have. Don't you have act addiction as a debuff? Do I have an addiction as a debuff? Let's find out. I have alcohol intelligence minus one. Explosives plus 20. Nightwear Mentas. Uh, no, I don't think so. I thought your build was perfect. It is. It is. There is nothing wrong with this. Throw that away. General perks. Oh, if only. If we can't make it, we can't make it. This is fine. Check the fridge. Swear to God, if we actually find something in the fridge. There is nothing around here. There is nothing in the first aid box. There is nothing in the random metal box. There is nothing we could make with the power of science. There is nothing else around. Whiskey. Turrets. More turrets. Gas. Items. Weapons. No. We are forced to fail this one. And that's okay. Are we not going to tell him about the thing with the other things in relation to the skill checks? You can tell me. Let's go with Vera. To Vera. We've read all this before. Don't read the message to Dean. Then we chat to this dude. You. You're in the vault, finally. After all this time. You have a minus I one to intelligence way. that will wear off. Mine. Even if that one wears off, I still don't think we have don't enough. Go into the vault and don't touch anything else. Hang on. The minus one to intelligence. Weren't we only two shy of the item we needed? The minus one was added after, was it? Because one intelligence counts as two things. Two shy before the minus one. Hang on. Hang on a tick. Let's ju just take a moment. The too shy was alcohol, intelligence minus one, perception and charisma. So perception was up, charisma was up. What was intelligence governing? That was repair and medicine, wasn't it? And my repair skill is 43. So if I just wait, you cannot wait in this location. God damn it. And so the Nerevarine sobered up. <laughs> That's what it was. That is still just 70. So, okay, let's say that we go for science and repair. Our current perks, in general, alcohol had gear mentas, intelligence plus two. If we go for the full repair, that would take it to... Yeah, we'd still be, I think, too low. Go for the dead money jumpsuit, which takes the repair to 48. Then we go with boosts to intelligence. I think Mentas is already active. Yeah. Intelligence plus two. If only you could use boosts in conversations. If only. Science isn't ready. Barter, speech, charisma, that won't help. Yeah, I still don't think we have enough. Even if we go with full intelligence boost. Which would be fixing things. And I don't think in Mentas for the intelligence boost, we've already got that. Even with that. Repair goes to 68. It would not go to 70. 
and that's 68 before we take off the minus 1, which will take it to 70. Yeah, we don't have... We do not have the ability. We jump through all these hoops. We cannot reach 75. Science and repair, still not. If only we had the milk. I don't think you can drink the milk, anyway. And we've got it with us, but I don't know if you should do anything with it. I think it's just a miscellaneous item. Which effectively does nothing at all. If you wait too long, the magazine wears off. Yeah. No, we tried. We cannot reach the boost. But we gave it a good go. And that's what matters. We tried. Is this a playthrough? Yes, it is. Right, so we don't read the personal accounts. Let me skip through this, dude. I'm not reading the personal accounts. You can't make me. I know it's bad. Right. Why don't you come down here, mate? No. You? Hey, I'll just find a way to unlock it myself. Not a problem. You got me far. Any farther. Try to breach the vault. You become a corpse. What's inside is mine. Anyone else touches it, tries to take it from me, they'll answer for it. Okay. Oh, goodness me. Lockpick and sneak. I wonder if we can level up lockpick and sneak somehow. Because lockpick is currently at 53. Sneak is at 42, but I'm not even wearing the sneak boost. Lockpick and sneak. Let's just see how high we can get lockpick and sneak, shall we? Because, if I remember correctly, the assassin suit is sneak plus 10. Now that gets sneak up to... Okay, 52. What governs sneak? Do I have a sneaky book? I don't think I have a sneaky book. Let's see what books we've got. We can boost repair. We can boost lockpick. Don't think we can boost sneak. We cannot. Oh, that's a shame. So we have a lockpick book. Lockpick can be boosted by plus 20. My lockpick as it stands is 53. That could be boosted to 73. And what's lockpick governed by? Lockpick is governed by perception. So, what do we have that's giving perception boosts? Alcohol, headgear, mentas. Oh, we still can't do it. Perception is for lockpack. We're still too shy. We are too shy unless we can find a perception boost for it. You may have other chems. I'm pretty sure I don't. Not for perception. So... Although Absinthe is Perception plus one. Am I currently under the effects of Absinthe? Yeah, see? Alcohol is Perception plus one. If only you'd leveled to 20. I'm already drunk. Is that like a, a constant boost? Like if I were to drink the Absinthe now, would that count as separate? It would not count as separate. That's annoying. Alcohol and Absinthe are different. Apparently not. So if I go to that, it just says Alcohol. It doesn't say absinthe specifically. And then if I were to have the lockpick... Can you stack the magazines? I'm guessing you can't. Oh, because that takes lockpick to 73. That is so close. We need, like, one perception thing. Do any of these guns have, like, bonus perception on them when you equip them? Guessing they don't. And none of these things in here have bonus perception on them. No. no. That's a real shame. Oh, man. Okay, cool. So we just... The hat. Pretty sure we're already wearing the hat. I think we are. Yeah, we're already wearing the hat, which is a perception boost of plus one. Nothing else is a perception boost. I mean, that boosts barter and speech. What is in the other container above the cabinet? I have nothing that I think we can use specifically. It's a suitcase. No, uh, just chips. We'd need to find a perception boost. I don't think any of these have it. No. 
Oh, we're so close. Like, we might need to accept the milkman could not deliver this one. Is there another speech check that we could pass? Like, what are we close to? Skills. What are we close? So we're close to lockpick. We could barter it. We could potentially energy weapon it. Maybe. Regretting the build yet? No. Why would I be regretting the build? This is excellent. Excellent stuff. Speech is the only real thing I've got. Speech and unarmed. So, if we can find a way to make speech work, that'll be great. To Vera. Okay, cool. Vera keys. Done. If only we could find a way to make speech work. After all this time, the Sierra Madre... Wait, where did the hat come from? The hat's perfect. Don't... Don't talk about Don't that. Move. Maybe speech Don't is something move. that could work. How did you access my pit boy? You speak as if your fingers have never touched the keys of a Robco terminal. No machine is foolproof. They are designed to obey us. You're the not going to believe this, but did you talk to the power to thing next to the door? Advantages to those Pretty sure. Its construction, even superficially. It's just a machine, though. Uh, now that I'm here, mate, are you coming down? No. I'm not going to You did not talk to the power close, thing, Josh. Not this close. No. Do we need to talk not to again. the power thing? I can wait. Afford Is the power th I Swear to God. Right. Is a power thing by the door? We can't talk... Hang on. This generator powers turret defense in the vault. Inscribed in its side, you can read turret defense generator B. You may be able to smash the generator. Melee weapon 50 or higher. Are you regretting the build, Josh? No, my build is perfect. It gives me access to everything I could possibly need. I have cast fist successfully. All right, okay, you know what? We're going to take every possible boost we could have and then just send this conversation. Absinthe. It's happening. Buff out. We're taking it. If it gives us literally any boost to anything, we're taking it. We're sending the conversation. We're seeing what happens. Sierra Madre Martini. Done. Okay. Tales of chivalry, true police stories, crit chance, everything's going into this. Vodka, whiskey, wine. Boom. What do we look like now? Stats, skills. We're looking very drunk and everything is boosted. And still, the only thing that is over 75 is speech. So we are going to be very drunk, but my god, are we going to be eloquent. I might even stick on. We've got that. We've got the pre-war hat, the sunglasses. Everything is perfect. Dead money jumpsuit. Should we do that over Vera's outfit? No, we won't. We're going with this. Now we send it. Let's see what happens. Quick save. I've saved right now. There's no going back. You've got a lot to answer for, my friend. Do I? For what? Your greed? Curiosity? You came here on your own. No one held a gun to your head. I've seen your Pip-Boy archives, your map markers and notes. So if you feel I have a lot to answer for, no. You know, put the put the blame on me, do you? I mean, before this goes any further, maybe are you coming down yet or not? No. You? You're locked down there. This is the only entrance. And I have he saved after smashing the defense mind. generator. Yes, I did. I have time. That was the correct thing to do. Besides. If you want me to wait, I'll cooperate. Sierra Madre doesn't really, you know, matter to me, mate. Compliance. Good. The others fought, argued. If they had only obeyed. I see the caller has done its work. I can hear it in your voice. Stand and wait outside the vault. Where I can see you from the elevator. Not a problem. Stand and wait outside the vault. Cool. 
I'm gonna take some more because my currently I can carry a load of weight, so I'm gonna grab another gold bar. Staying in the vault. Think it'll protect you? No. I don't think so. It might not, but what I am gonna do, mate, is equip the hollow rifle. If I hang on, no. Let's go with like the knife's the bear trap fist. And then we get ready to just drink even more plus everything. There's one of these that gives you, like, a damage boost. Okay, Psycho. We go with Psycho if we need to. Okay. F5, we've quick saved. I'll have the Sierra Madre kill you for me. You can't beat all the casino's defenses. Did you really think you could steal from me? The us see. See what I can do to shut those turrets down from up here. You can be down there? Come on, I'm trying to help you out here. Time to miss against you. It always was. Let's punch him to death. What the hell is that? Okay, cool. So he blew up. I'm taking his robes and his rifle and all the stuff for it. Right. We've got everything. Elijah has a collar, too. No, we got him. We shoot him down. Gauss rifle obtained. Easy. We've got it. What about the gold? Not a problem. We can get some of that, too. We are moving too slowly. This is a problem. We're going to drop something. Um, quick, down all the whiskey. And the wine. And maybe pick up some kind of strength plus something. Buff out. Can't take any more. Dirty water. Drop it all. Don't need it. That's gone. What else don't we need? Father Elijah's robes, they're pretty cool. We're keeping them. Assassin suits staying. Weapons. We don't need all these police pistols. Fix them with other police pistols. In fact. Yeah, we're good. Just drop that. Knife, spear. Don't need a knife, it's pointless. Fragmine, bear trap. What's in miscellaneous? Anything have any weight? Don't need a cup. Or empty syringes or duct tape. Need to drop something until we've only got... I'm not dropping the milk bottles, it's not happening. I need to drop something. What do we have that I don't need? Quick, drink the Sierra Madre Martini. Right, we're now very drunk. Grab them, drop them as a brick, and then carry them and run. You can carry all the gold you want. Pretty sure you can't. We're just going to go with this. You need the duct tape. That's how you repair things. No, it's fine. Milk bottles weigh five. Doesn't matter. They're staying. Drop one milk bottle as a calling card of the milkman. That's a good point. We've been here. Just one of them. Still gonna drop four weights of things. Ah, oh, you know what? I don't need the knife spear. That can go. Apparel. What do I drop? Do I drop his robes? I could drop Father Elijah's robes. Abandon the scotch. Not abandoning it, but we will drink it. And now. Quick save. We've quick saved the game. We've committed to this exact moment. We gotta get the hell out of here. How? That's the wrong way. Okay, so my collar is beeping. I've gotta get the hell out of here pretty bloody quickly. And I'm not gonna do it. Because I don't know what I have to turn on or off to get out of here. Oh, this way's looking good. Yep. Oh! That went bang. We're doing okay. Jump! Oh, there's parkour in the game now. That's about to blow me up. And we died. Damn it. Reload. This is okay. I know where I'm going now. We go this way. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. I 
I know what I'm doing. Quick save. Not a single drop of booze was wasted. We took everything with us. How do I get out of here? Assuming it's this way. But weren't there red things that I couldn't get past? This way? Nope. Damn it. Oh, okay. This is going to take some time. I've got to work out the exact way to go for this. So, we've quick saved in the middle of a timed mission. What I need to work out is where the game wants me to go from here. I think it's this way. Can I not use my local map? Okay, so it's up there. It's not up, it's there. From here, it's up and around. I don't think we're going to make it. Nope. Oh, God damn it. How are we going to make it? Okay, so we, we save scums to here. Quick saved again. I need some kind of speed, but I can't get out of here. Where are we? That was the right way. Which way? This way. Or this way. That way is... Oh god, I've picked something else up. We go this way. This way and then right. Door to the left. Can't make it. I genuinely don't think we can make that. I don't have enough time left. Because if I load this, even holding straight forward, I need a speed boost. Can't do it. You literally cannot get that. Might need to start this run. Hang on. Jet. Does jet make you move quicker? That gives you AP plus 15, but it doesn't make you move quicker. Might have bugged myself here. You can get there. I can't. Jet slows down time. It's turbo. Don't have any turbo. And it definitely doesn't slow down this beeping. No, cannot do that. We've got to reload. We've got to reload from before... I killed the dude. Because then you've got to freaking run. Oh, okay. That means if I'm going to take any stuff, we've got to take it before we do this guy. I'm not taking more gold. I, you can't carry it. Now you can see the accountants, the accounts things. We're not doing... Lure him during the fight. That's a good question. That's a good point. Okay, first of all, smash the generator. That's done. Now, you say that I've got no gold on me. I've got three gold bars on me. That's 31,000 caps. I've got at least three. We could... You can take three more. Oh. I can if I drink all the alcohol. Drop all the dirty water. And drink the scotch, drink the jet, take the mentas, read the book. Okay. Got another one. Go 
go through this. Grab the pre-war money. Purely. This is... Use all the dock bags. No, no. We're good. Disengage the security. Go through the Vera thing. Read the two Vera message. Don't read the personal accounts. Grab that. Chat to this dude. You. Skip all the talking. You've got a lot to answer for, my friend. Look, I wasn't hiding all this time. Only there was a speech check. Cool. Come down, chat to me. I just want to leave the vault, my friend. There's a freaking speech check! I'm having a break. We're coming back in 10 minutes time, and then I'm just gonna do the speech check. The one check that I could have always passed. Didn't even need the temporary boosts. Right, we're taking a mental break before I come back and do another speech check. I will see all of you lovely people in about, let's say, six minutes time to be really specific. Six minutes time, then we do a speech check. I'll see you then. Okay. Okay. I've calmed down. I've got a drink. We all said some things we didn't mean. Apart from me, I meant everything I said. Uh, do I need a hug? You wouldn't be able to find the temporary boost in time to be able to hug me. And now, we take a speech check, which we would have always been able to pass without any boost at all. You've already waited too long for this moment. No need to wait any longer. I've lost much in the past by falling to my instincts. This time, this time will be different. You're right. Will be different. Has been different. True. The collars have worked better than I'd hoped with adjustments. Still, I'm not eager to leap into another trap. The Sierra Madres are yours. This experience has taught me human nature is unreliable. You say your freedom is important to you. So did the others that filled the villa before they turned on each other. At this point, mate, the call has done its work or we wouldn't be here. Hmm. The callers, yes. Technology solves so many ills. I'm coming down. I'll meet you face to face at the vault entrance. No tricks. If you prove troublesome well, there's always the caller. Now I have quick saved. Also over encumbered. By ten. Ah, oh, right, what can I quickly eat or drink that would be worth ten weight? Purified water, thirteen. Drink three of those quickly. Power back some scotch. Throw a vodka back. And drink four bottles of wine. We're fine. See, I set my alarm so I can get back to work. Josh just drank four bottles of wine like it's nothing. Imagine! And then the tale of the Nerevarine. Several thousand years in the future after the bombs fell. They broke into a casino's vault. Drank their own, drank their weight in whiskey, wine. Did all of the drugs and then convinced a man they'd never met to come and meet them. Sounds like your average night on Grinder. Right, where is the dude? 
looked over there. Do I need to meet him, or can Did I just like really go somewhere think you else? Could steal from me, the Sierra Madre is mine. Seeing what I can do to shut those turrets down from up here. Dude, what the hell? I I didn't want to fight you, dude. What are you doing? Uh, we were meant to be friends. Why are we not friends? It always. Shut down the others. He's cut off access. Damn it. What? Bamboozled! Oh, I took the gold. Okay, so, hang on, let's just have a little chat. Every single one of you told me to take the gold. Did you do that on purpose? Take more gold. Weapons. Bear fist. Aid. I'm already very hyped up on everything. So let's go with Psycho and is it Jet that gives you all the boosts and bonuses? Yo! Now I can hit you. For some reason I can't. There we go. Missed. 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 You hear me down there? I'm trying to help you out here. Disable the speakers, play a little music. Time. That's more like it. Punch him a lot. Grab everything apart from his clothes. Run away. Yeah. Optional. Sneak out of the chambers undetected. Now I'm good. So the quests. Data quests. Optional. Sneak. No. Oh, I could have trapped Elijah when he opens the vault. That would have been really cool. That would have been fun. But if you do that, I'm guessing you don't get his gun. I want the rifle, don't we? Because, I mean, look. Weapons. Gauss rifle. Hang on. 108 damage. Holy hell. That's a really powerful weapon. His gun isn't unique. You don't get... Hang on. You don't get anything. Interesting. The Gauss rifle is a generic gun. You can get it anywhere. His gun isn't unique. Do we need to trap him in the vault for his own crimes? Maybe we do. Maybe we need to trap him in the vault for his own crimes. Okay. Now, that means that I need to put the gold back. Um, how do you trap him in the vault? I'm guessing you just let him go into the vault and then let him chill there problem is he's there so I need to sneak if only I had some apparel with a bonus sneak there's no way he'll see me here he saw me No way he'll see me here. You say stealth boy, but all I've got to do is just use the assassin suit for added sneak. He won't see me here, it's fine. I'm still hidden. There he 
is. Have you gone in yet? Huh? What's this? Alarms. What? You think you can run? This entire structure is mine to command. Okay, so. Time is against us. Is the door. I have to open the door for him. The door is open. Literally, just go in the door. I wasn't spotted. The door remains open. It shouldn't close by itself. Equip the stealth suit just in case. Remain stealthy. He comes down the thing. Through. <laughs> Do we have to create a path of gold? Look, he's there. Just go in. Huh? What's this? Go in the door. Alarms. What? When he's at the door, sneak your way to the exit. See what I can do to shut those turrets down from up here. Jump. Down there? Come on. Why does the alarm go off? Is it because he saw me? What if I sneak here? This is pretty good. Power. Assassin suit. See what I can do to shut those two. I am going to do this. We are going to trap him. It is going to be great. We are hidden. It's fine. See what I can do to shut those turrets down from up here. Okay. This is going to work. Power assassin suit. Save. On this way. Hidden. Going to stay hidden. But the alarm goes off before. We are still using the door technique. Hang on. What if I just hide inside here? Oh, he sees you and runs away. Come in. There's milk. Jump. Okay, cool. Doesn't work. Did you say you can buy a stealth boy from the machine? Pretty sure you can't. No, there's no stealth boys in the machine. Which is a shame. That is a shame. Might as well kill him and run. No, no. No, that would be the simple way to do it, I agree, but we aren't about that life. Apparel, assassin suit. We're good. We'll achieve this. See how close we can get him. Into the vault. And then he doesn't come in. Why? Huh? Why? Doesn't Alarms. he come in? What? You okay. Alarm you goes run? off anyway once he hits this the door. Hang on. The alarm, Dean. Oh, for God's sake, what? Dean, it's you again. The alarm goes off anyway once he hits the door due to past choices. You need to deactivate the alarm. And do you still have the gold on you? I do still have the gold on me. Is that a problem? Is that what he sees? Hide and run to the exit before the alarm hits. Okay, so what if I were to open the door and drop the gold that's on me here? And then sneak and hide here. Just got here, what's happening? We're being great. Right. 
He will spot me anyway, no matter what happens. Oh, okay. You have to somehow make it to the exit before he gets to the door. Now, the cool thing is, he doesn't think I'm his enemy right now. So if I drop the gold bars... He doesn't think I'm an enemy. Oh, damn it. Okay, he does. Stop opening the door. Okay, so if I drop the gold bars... ...and then chat to him... ...he shouldn't hate me yet. And the alarm goes off. Right. So, for some reason, he starts shooting me at the moment he attacks me. The gold bars don't influence anything. He doesn't have to go into the vault door itself. The door he walks through puts a hologram door that traps him when you get... ...when you get past it. Okay. We're gonna do this. We're gonna work out a way... ...either near the two force field barriers nearest the elevator, even if the curry has a hundred sneak. There is no way, it seems... ...to not be detected by him. There is a way to sneak past him. You say there is a way. What if you just sprint past him and try and get through that door before he's there? Is this thing on? You hear me down there? I'm trying to help you out here. Okay. Up until combat is initiated and the reactiveness force field barriers blocking the elevator. Once he's entered the room, he becomes instantly aware if the courier steps across the midline of the catwalk section that lies between the arcing coils and the elevator exit. We have entered the Groundhog Day portion of the stream, very much so. I don't think it's possible to get this guy into this room. You cannot enter the area he comes from. You can run to the doors you use to get to the vault. I... it is. You hide behind the Ark. Also, pre-war junk. I know we don't need to, but I really want to see if we can. Do I need to open the door for him? Is the question. See what I can do to shut those turrets down from up here. Okay. So how close can we get him? The alarm only goes off when he sees me. And I don't think I've got anything to help me with stealth. So he spots me here. Okay, we're gonna get there. We're gonna do this. We do not have a stealth boy. We need to do this without stealth boys. We have effectively nothing that would help with stealth. Can we hide inside the vault? Is another question. Maybe we can just like hang back here see what's going on but you could just have a stealth boy even if you don't all the literature says you must leave the door shut see he's outside the door now and then he runs back hmm. what's this and now he's noticed the alarms, alarms. what you Think you can run? This entire structure is mine to command. Security, weapons, all. Time is against you. It always was. Okay. I'm unsure if we can get past him. I was away for 20 minutes. Why do you keep the stealth from Grandma? Okay, right. So, it there's a. It's a complicated string. How? 
do we trap this dude in the vault? If you hide behind the Tesla coil on the right, you can get past him. So we've made it to here. Is he going to go in? What's this? No. He Blood. still doesn't what? do the thing. You think you can run? This entire structure is mine to command. Security, weapons, all. Oh, you think you've outsmarted me? And now we get the hell out of Dodge. So I'm guessing that... Because I thought when we trap him in the vault, we trap him in the vault. Like, that was the whole thing. Right, you just... You just go. And do we have the gold? That's the question. I think you'll find... We do. We have 52,000 caps worth of five gold bars that we were able to take and you say I need to listen to the radio before I go which one the Sierra Madre broadcast this best not be copyright music because if it is that's a problem is this the wrong one nope there's a station with Elijah on it this one Nope. None of it's... Your radio volume's off. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Elijah's fine. We're good. We're okay. And... I think that means... I think that means we can leave. It works in the Mojave. And now we've trapped him. Can we finally leave? You are certain you'll never be able to get back here. You sure you want to leave? If you leave, you'll miss the upgrades. Have I missed anything? Have I missed anything specifically? The hollow rifle. Oh yeah, Christine. Good point. Um, should we go and tell Christine what we've done? Is she still around? Can we let her know what, what's happened? Elijah's gone. There's some <laughs> there's some temporary stat boosts. Oh, good point. Yeah, kill Dean. We've got to kill Dean and let Christine know what's happened. She best not be gone. She best be fine. But we can head back to the Sierra Madre at least. So, a couple of things. I've quick saved, so we've pretty much committed to where we are now. Uh, first things first, kill Dean. He won't have gone, don't worry. He'll, uh, he'll be around still. I'm sure he's around still. 99% sure. He's probably just hanging out in the stairwell waiting for us. Thank God for no more beeps, though. That's fun. Oh, Dean. Deany boy. Oh, he's gone. Oh, Dino. Glasses on for Dean. Uh, Dean's left. He's no longer performing. Maybe. Maybe it's for the best. They're probably all gone. They're probably all gone. Everybody left. Dean's had a good time. Where's the snow globe? You guys said there's a snow globe in the DLC. Temporary stat boosts for Dean. You can't just say yes to where the snow globe is. It will be somewhere. It's the snow... It's in the snow globe oven. They're back at their starting locations where you first found them. Is that true? Is that true? Like, are you gen... Are you messing with me? Snow globe is in the villa. Check the door. I hate all of you. 
Okay. Are they actually back at their starting positions? Right, let's have a look. They might not be back at their starting positions. Van, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for the raid. You joined us, oh my god, after Groundhog Day of a boss. You guys are saying, no, we never lie. Of course they're back there. Why wouldn't they be? You know what? I'm going to leave. I'm done. I'm finished with this DLC. No one gets the snow globe. And nobody gets the companions. I don't care. Right. No. No, you're all being silly. You don't deserve it. I still play New Vegas. I fetched the info. Hang on. What did you say? From the wiki. In the upper level near where Dean's thing is. The upper level. Right. Just because you were very nice and kind, let me see exactly where it is. It's in Salida del Sol North, from the southernmost entrance. Uh, proceed down the stairway to the streets, up the first staircase, take the rooftops west on the left-hand side, enter the hole in the wall. On the left, atop a crate, in a room with five desks crammed against a back wall. It's in Salida del Sol, from the southernmost entrance to Salida del Sol South, in Salida del Sol North. Right. We're going to do this. We're going to find the snow globe. Salida del Sol North is what we need. That is that way. And then after finding the snow globe, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drop it. So none of you get to enjoy it. Oh, God, there's enemies, because of course there are. Residential District. Salida del Sol is... this way. Oh no, all my drugs have worn off. I'm gonna move a lot slower now. Oh no, I'm carrying way too much weight. That's the problem now. We've escaped, but at what cost? Aid. Buff out. I've got to keep taking these drugs, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to make it back. More enemies. But I'm hoping... Data. Local map. It's just... Right. In the upper levels near one of Dean's secret stashes, from the southernmost entrance to Salida del Sol South, in Salida del Sol North, from the southernmost entrance... So that would be this one. This is north, isn't it? Oh my god. Ah. This is the worst laid out map of the game. Just saying. Just putting it out there. This is bad. So far, this is badly laid out. Don't get me wrong, I've enjoyed it as a DLC, but the layout, holy hell. The layout has left many things to be desired. We just need to go this way and then that way. I think this gets us to the north. Is this around and then all the way back to the north? It's in the north. Okay, the floors have teeth. Found a bear trap. Good job, me. This is the house. The house gets us through to the north, I think. Proceed down the stairway to the streets and head east. Go up the first staircase and take the rooftops. Right, so there's the south place. There anywhere to go from this? There we go. Okay. So. From here. Hello, Ghost Trapper. Have some headshots. Good stuff. Let me just reload this gun. Now, I don't know if this gun ever gets more ammunition. But it is a damn good gun. And I will be sad if I don't get more ammo for it. Oh, God, there's loads of them. Let me just 
Give me a minute. Yes. Good stuff. One more. Yes. Perfect. Don't say it's over there, because I will believe you, and then we'll go over there, and there'll be nothing there, and then you'll look like a fool. But you know what? They're decent experience. So I don't mind it because they're pretty good XP. In fact, we're close to leveling up. Oh, we leveled up. Let's give it the perfect level again. You guys ready for the perfect level up? Let me just sort this out over here. There we go. Why do I do this? This is perfect. So, has this build let us down so far? I don't think it has. Everything we've ever wanted to do, this build has been able to do. It has not let us down. The balanced. But maybe we should go for another point in possibly repair, because that seems quite important. There we go. Oh, we get a perk. We get a perk. Spray and pray. Your attacks do much less damage to companions, allowing you to... Oh, I'm not shooting my companion anyway, so that's fine. You couldn't defuse the shotgun traps yesterday. Yeah. So I just absorbed the shotgun blasts with my body. My endurance stood up to it. Perfectly balanced build. We were able to solve the problem of being shot. Mile in their shoes. I don't want that. Spray and pray, maybe, but I'm not shooting companions. You say robotics expert. Okay. 25% damage to any robot. Sneaking up on a hostile robot will put the robot into a shutdown state. Interesting. Weapon requirements are too lower. Could be important. 30 hit points. Could be useful. What's, like, good over here? Maybe... Oh, we could get another special perk. Intense training. Single point into any special attribute. Confirm bachelor, maybe. Everyone's saying cannibal, but I'm not doing cannibal. My luck is 11. <laughs> maybe we could take the luck to 11. Can you do that? Can you take the luck to 11 if you do this? Can you go above 10? You can't do it. Okay, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. I hear temporary stat boosts are good. Is there something that actually boosts temporary stat boosts? If only there was. Run faster, bloody mess, ferocious. There is. Okay, where's the temporary stat boost one? It makes it better, because we've got to. We've got to take that now. What's it called? Comprehension help. I've already got comprehension. I've already taken that. We took that a while ago. We were smart, see? You have the temp boost that bus it goes to plus 20 instead of plus 10. I see. In some conversations, you gain the ability to initiate combat while terrifying a mob of opponents, sending them fleeing for safety. That's clearly the best perk. Let's take it. Terrifying presence. Done. No notes, not changing it. It's great. There is nothing wrong with what we're doing now. Okay, so from here, where the hell is the snow globe? Where is the snow globe? Dean's room. Great. Good stuff. It's not snorth -weast. I will turn the stream around. And then nobody. It's in the upper levels heading west. <sighs> okay. We can't go west. There's a gate in the way. It's not on the fridge. I will turn this car around. I will. I will straight up turn ah! this car around. And then none of you will get what you want. Is that what you want? Disarm the bear traps. Gain some experience. Apparently the snow globe is around here somewhere. 
So we look around the place. Apparently it's in a kind of room with five desks. Don't know what's here or down there. Toxic cloud. Can't go that way. Needs a key. We're dying slowly. Got a key. Is this the key? It's the freaking key! Okay. Right. I did finish the DLC. However, somebody has demanded that I find a way to go to the Salida del Sol North, was it? Yes, my HP is very low. We're going to improve that right now with some... Uh, with some stim packs. Right, we're nearly back to full health. At this point, find the globe and just... I'm going to... We're going to find the globe. We're going to find the snow globe. And then we're going to take it to Mr. House. Don't worry. We're going to do that. Do I want a map? Red Sky. I trust you. You are the only person right now in this chat that I trust. I need you to tell me where to go, Red Sky. I can't open that while playing the game. It's you and me. Salida del Sol North, in the upper levels near one of Dean's secret stashes. From the southernmost entrance to Salida del Sol South. In Salida del Sol North. So first of all, we must get to Salida del Sol North. That, I'm guessing, is that one just there. We must go to the North place. From the southern entrance. Proceed down the stairway and head east. Right. That's North. This one just here. But I don't think we can go into here, because I think this way is locked. But we're going to go around. I like how you all just repasted exactly the same thing from the wiki. I appreciate the energy that we're coming into this with. It's a good energy. We're going to do it. Don't think it's that way. But this does get us into the north. From the house. We can do this. So, from north, I can't even read it now because it's moving too quickly. Go up the first staircase. Well, I mean, the first staircase was one going down, but we'll go this way. I'm just going to wander around till I find it. That, that's a new plan. I am just going to wander randomly around until we happen to stumble. Oh no, my buff out's worn out, which means I now can't carry more things. My chat is weird, that's true. But they're a very special bunch, without a doubt. Items. Buff out. Got one more. Got to find it quickly. Let's... We're just happy to be here. Yes. We're all just happy to be involved. There is some steps. You say it's on one of the upper levels. Near... A room with like five desks in the corner so it was near where we met Dean you said and Dean was I don't quite remember where Dean was he was close to here wait wait you say that we're close to here what's next to that computer Nothing. Nothing at all. Don't. Don't be doing this. Don't be telling me there's things next to things. Yes, it's a fan. But we're not moving it. We don't need it. Kind of looks globe-shaped. No. Don't be like this. Right. We've got to find... Somewhere... Where there is a globe. We could be here a while, guys. So everyone get comfy. Because this is going What if we can't find it because we're trapped in the snow globe? No, don't don't do this. Don't be like this. Oh, label this video the hunt for the globe. We already that's the bell tower. We had to get there. Okay, hang on. No, I can just open Discord on my phone. Red Sky, you're going to have to send me 
the map. We're going to find this. We're going to find this snow globe, and you're all going to be like, oh, wow, finally. Oh, we're going to get the hunt for the globe begins. DLC snow globe. If only we had a temporary boost to do this with. So, dead money snow globe. We're going to get it. We're going to find this. Where are you? Salida del Sol North in the upper levels near one of Dean's secret stashes. We are in Salida del Sol North. Where is it? I'm going to find this. You don't need to keep pasting the same thing. I found the same thing that you have. Del Sol North. Where's the globe? We're good. We're good. We're going to get this. Snow globe location. Okay, I think that's roughly where it is, all the way on... Why did I say that? Because people are going to paste it. It's in the DLC somewhere. I hate this. Oh, okay, we're going to get there. So, Red Sky has for the snow globe. Thank you. I'm just trying to find... Okay. Snow Globe, Sierra Madre. That's where it is. Okay. So, it is, from what I can tell, there. Like on the map. Like it's there. I just need to go down and then find the things. And I've got a plan. I have got... Gosh darn plan. Getting poisoned was not part of the plan. So I've got to be real, this is not what was planned. This way, maybe? Okay, good. We're back in the same courtyard we were before. That was not progress. But this might be. This might be. Keep going. Don't think we need to be up here anymore. Go this way. I'm very calm. I'm calm. I'm focused. We are going to find this snow globe. Don't think we can jump to there from here. Don't think we need to. Can, however, go around. Does that connect to that? I don't think it does. This might. Jump over you so we don't take damage. See? Look at me being an epic gamer. My epic gamer skills. I now need to go up somehow. Possibly up here. Okay, so apparently we're actually relatively close to it. Now, is that... Okay, that opens. That's the south door. And we go to here. So, from... Salida del Sol South. Proceed down the stairway and head west. Go up the first staircase. Proceed down the stairway. And head west. Go up the first staircase. Can't go west. There is a thing there. The westest we can go is this way. Head up the first staircase. Okay, we've done that. Head up the first staircase. Go onto the rooftops on the left-hand side. Okay, on the rooftops. The left-hand side. That's over there? Is it? Take the rooftops west on the left-hand side. Enter through the hole in the wall. The rooftops west on the left-hand side. It's like that way? That can't be the right thing. It east, not west. Right, don't post the instructions in Spanish. I cannot read them in Spanish. I can barely read them in English. 
The buff out has worn out. I'm not dropping the gold. This is how we're playing now. This is what's going to happen. I said I can speak Spanish, not read it. Big difference. Put the gun away at least. Okay. I don't know if that makes too much of a difference. I'm going to drink a load of wine. That's mostly to make me feel better. And seven bottles of whiskey. I'm also going to get rid of two bottles of scotch and two Sierra Madre martinis. We're going to drink some absinthe. And yeah, now we can actually carry a load more weight. So if anything, we should pick more stuff up. Data. Did it say go east or west? So. It said come down the stairs. Right. Don't post it in wingdings. We are just going through all the lists of things that I can't read. We're going to find this. We're going to find this stupid snow globe. That's going to be great. Okay. From the southernmost entrance to Salida del Sol, Proceed down the stairway to the streets and head east. Right. See, when it said east, I read west. Head up. Oh, this is making so much more sense. Right. And take the rooftops west on the left-hand side. Stick to the left-hand side and go through the hole in the wall. Right. So, we keep going this way. Is there a hole in the wall somewhere? Not down here, there's not. It's probably that thing just over there. Can make this jump? Oh my god. There it is. <sighs> we found it. We found it. Shall we? There's even a Dean stash. Shall we take it and give it to Mr. House? Shall we give this to Mr. House now? I think we should. World map. Can we... There's no fast travel options. Can we not even fast travel to the right place? I hate it here. I hate it here so much. Alright. Now we go this way. So. We have been through all that trouble... Literally, just to get a singular snow globe. What about the second one? No. No. Just no. And now, we will take this snow globe back to Mr. House. Don't. We're not doing a second one. I don't even care if there is one. I don't believe there is. But if there is, I don't care. This way and then left several times. Now the question is, when we get back to Mr. House, am I going to give him the snow globe? Or am I just going to drop it on the floor and let you guys all just deal with the fact that I'm leaving it on the floor? Because that's what I'm tempted to do. That might be what we have to do. Town squares this way. I don't think you can drop it. You don't think we can? What if we can? Snow globe. Yeah, you can. Oh, I've got another one. The Air Force Base. Got two. Didn't realize. Did not realize. Let's leave this dreadful place and never ever return. Returned to the Mojave. The survivors of the Sierra Madre thought about gathering at the fountain and waiting for the courier. In the end, the caller's silence made them uneasy, and the fear of turning on each other made them hesitate and leave the goodbyes unspoken. The radio message at the fountain was enough for them, and there was no need to add another farewell on top of all they had suffered. Dog forgot himself as did the voice that raged within him. 
After their passing, a new voice spoke within the mutant shell. It was difficult for the voice to remember the two it once was. There was the beast, dog, consumed by hunger. And the other in reverse, the one consumed by control. Both were driven by need for the other. The courier brought them together somehow, joined the two into one. All that happened at the Sierra Madre was a faint memory to the new personality, like a flickering light in the clouds of the mind. The new voice did not think of the courier again until the Battle of the Divide reached his ears. The battle between the two couriers, beneath the torn skies and the old world flag, each bearing a message for the other. And the mutant prayed the courier that had saved him had been saved in return. Dean Domino, entertainer, singer, thief, explored the Sierra Madre not long after he was rescued by the courier. Once he left the theater, the Sierra Madre recognized him as a guest, and many doors opened to him. He had to admit it had been built to last. During his search, he came across the final records of Vera and Sinclair, and realized what happened the night the bombs fell. He felt strangely sad for a moment, and he had no idea why. Shrugging it off, his mind turned instead to where the courier had come from. Vegas still survived out there in the Mojave. It sights, sounds, and casinos, ripe for the taking. So, giving the Sierra Madre one last nod and a wink, he set off beyond the cloud to begin again. Christine, her mission complete, found new purpose as the Sierra Madre's warden. She watched over it silently, by choice. Over time, the ghost people came to see her as one of the holograms. They would watch, silently, as she walked among them. At times, Christine thought of the courier, who had kept Elijah's hand from her throat. The courier reminded her of the other courier she had met in the Big Empty, and wondered if the two had found each other at last. She did not think of them again until she heard the legends of the Divide. The Divide, where the two messengers, the two couriers, fought beneath an ancient flag at the edge of the world. Talking about you the Divide a lot. The Don't Mark know about that. Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses. Some foolishness about it lying in the middle of a city of dead. A city of ghosts. Beneath a blood-red cloud. A bright, shining monument, reaching out, luring treasure hunters to their doom. An illusion. A promise that you can change your fortunes. Begin again. Finding it, though. That's not the hard part. It's letting go. 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 We've all let go of many things. Oh. Hello. And now, I am... I think, back to my, oh no, got my same stuff still. This was where the trap was. Nothing on the radio. Nothing in the foot lockers. Apart from that one. Nope, we're good. Now I do need to drop something because I don't have anywhere near enough stuff. Only five gold bars. Yes, I did leave several behind. That is true. Let's drop all these police pistols. Don't need them. 
so. Yeah, probably don't need that many police pistols, or even the knife spear, because it's not very good. Probably don't need... I'm going to wear Vera's outfit and drop the... I probably don't need the assassin suit. I mean, it's nice, don't get me wrong, but stealth, mostly for cowards. And I think Vera's suit, that suits me. That looks pretty good. The Sierra Madre was all a dream. What's down here? Oh! Cool things! Hello, T45D power helmet. Maybe I can take you and use you. Maybe not. Am I meant to have access to power armor this early on? I say early on. We've been playing for a while. And... Brotherhood Footlocker. Oh, Father Elijah's robes! They are there! Okay. Interesting. So, Father Elijah's robes are also in this footlocker if we want them. Apparently, you can just take them from there. It's on this terminal. Welcome, Father Elijah. Yeah, we're good. Automated message from the Sierra Madre. Okay, so that was like, the thing he was sending out. Let's... A hundred Sierra Madre chips. Can't get to you. If I leave now, do I keep my stuff from the Sierra Madre? You guys are shouting at me that there's a book in this room. Oh! Dean's... Was that Dean's Electronics? Look at all these books try and balance against each other. That was it. Let's see what's in it. Hey. Items. Cool. Repair increased by four. Fantastic. This is your house forever now. All your stuff can be put here. Brilliant. Okay. I'll go with that. And, yep, that's maths and science. All correct. 100% factual. If I leave here, do I keep the stuff that I brought back from the Sierra Madre with me? That's the question. Or do I have to put it... I can keep it. So I can keep this badass rifle. Okay. I suppose that's a... Oh, God. Have I suddenly been given all of my other stuff back? Okay, that's a bit of an issue with weight. As I am now very, very overweight in the game. No caps. Just talk to a vendor. I might sell this stuff to a vendor. Maybe climb to the Mojave. Maybe let my ground know what's going on. Can we fast travel? World map? Because what I might do is give... Do I still have the, the snow globe? Or was that immediately taken off me and... Ah, so the snow globe, when you take it, immediately gives you Sierra Madre coins. Gotcha. I've got 2,108 Sierra Madre coins and a snow globe for the Nellis Air Force Base. You need a perk if encumbered. DLC snow globes auto send. I see. Right. What we should do is take the world map back to New Vegas fastest way. Can we travel to the strip? Doesn't seem to want to let me. Okay. It's not, not letting me. Can you not fast travel when over encumbered? You, you can't fast travel when you're encumbered. Oh, this is going to take a while to sort out. Okay. You require a perk. I see. I don't have that, so we could be here a while. How long would it take just to walk to New Vegas? Far too long. I need a shop. I need to sell what I've got 
I need to pick Granny back up. And then I need to do something called Honest Hearts, which I've been told is another DLC and is not terrible. And I will start Honest Hearts at the start of the next stream. We have been streaming for four and a half hours. I've been told good and bad things about Honest Hearts. I will work out whether I enjoy it by attempting to complete it. Guys, thank you very much for joining me as we finished Dead Money. I will do all the DLCs before we finish New Vegas. Don't you worry, but we will definitely finish New Vegas. Guys, have a great night. Enjoy your weekend. I will see you next Saturday for more New Vegas action. The next Was It Good, by the way, is being worked on. It is one of the old James Bond games. It is 007 Nightfire. In case you've played it, you might remember it being quite good. I replayed it recently. It's quite good. As for the worst MMO ever, there are more episodes being made, and they will come out pretty soon. Take care. Good night.